are you ready to go shopping? Well, probably. Probably you are. Probably, well, I'm not giving you a choice in the matter. Hello, kids. Uh, it's me, Uncle Fluffy. And uh, and we're here to do some, uh, to do some supermarket action. Uh, let's just turn that down while I remember it. About there's probably probably right. Yeah, about there's probably right. Then let's say hello to people. Uh, Skip was probably across the line. Good evening, Skip. Uh, then David and Nude and Wayne and Swinney and Flying Banana Tree and Rusty and Tim and uh, T-Bone is Gaming and Synesthesia and The Quiltless. Black and Sky and Liam and Hypo Center. Uh, Steady Bob, Coda B and Yo Choco Tubes. Sleepyhead, One Fox 2, One Dralu, Techie Menso. Uh, Hoosie Slats and Tricky and Collyfields and Paul and Borg. Uh, Caldo and the Jeffroid and Chief Berapoot, along with Jim and Matt and Rod. Uh, Billy Bob Wave is here, who recently, very recently, became a member of the Fail Brigade. <laughs> Chris and Jeff with his boats and Eduardo and Snore and Generator 314. Pink Suit Guy, Yorkshire Phaser, C2K and Martin and Chris and Dopey Dalek and Hello Hello, Career Insincere. Uh, Fluffy Xenomorph and Off the Rails and Farmer Dad and Karaney, uh, Chris and Dynamic Spoon and BP Bill, Eileen and Joe and Duke and Richard and Vaguely Baffled and Lady Katie La Rose Louise. You could pronounce that in a multitude of different ways. Uh, Beerchen and Andrew, well, uh, all of them probably fairly close to normal. Uh, Beerchen and Andreas, no, I'm going to go with Beerchen. Oh. Uh, uh, Andreas and Alan, uh, Sean, Eduardo, some more, Heads Buckets, Fat Chance, uh, Blaster, A Bogus Fortune, Flopmeister, and Harry Norman, Corbinian, Muck, and Lickswolf, TBJ Squared, uh, Merlin Kernow, Pauper J, Neptune, and Michelle, and Howard, Old Paint, 71, and Arjun, Orca, 79, Eileen, again, Eileen, and uh, Captain Blix, and Thice, and Albert, the Eutectic Point. Uh, Bert and Kuza and Fluffy Fury, uh, Eileen again, because Eileen's just chatting now at this point, you know, she's here. Well, I mean, Eileen runs the chat, everyone knows that. Uh, Dwarf and Howard and Wool, 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 Dot Sheep, Alex and Carbos, Carboos, uh, John, Scorpio, Wootrax, Noni, John Law, John Lowe, even, with the hype. Thanks, John. Uh, Peter and Pat and Diet1985 and Patrick... Uh, Richard and uh, Kevin Armethian, uh, Marky, Joe Disco, Mr. B, Peter and Pioneer and Martin, <laughs> Urban Rally Race. Oh, you were all ready for this, weren't you? Uh, Chris and Simon and McTone and Nick Scalabrate and Scott and Mandy K. Uh, Mikiel, Swinney, Kevin, uh, Morpheus Fadal, Roadhog, Michael, Robin, JMT, Danny, uh City's Chilling, Big Galar, David, Stone Stake, Super Owl, uh, Dougie, Wayne, Robert, Cody, The Little Conqueror, Jarl, Tristiton, Chive, and uh, Gallifrey and Wren. Uh, hello from a shy first time stream enjoyer. Well, I think you possibly jumped the gun on whether you're going to enjoy it or not. Uh, Jacob and Gordon are here as well. Yeah. Patrick, you you tried bog off earlier on. I saw it, but I wasn't going to do it yet. You see, I was I wasn't going to just. I mean, honestly, don't force the joke, bruv. It doesn't it doesn't need forcing. If it's if it's there, if it's natural, it's going to percolate all on itself, all all without your your needing to poke it with a stick. Uh, Al twenty six TC one hundred one's world of radio is here. Just for those of you who uh, who still believe that radio is uh, a viable discipline, uh, Luke is here. I should try the game Railroader. It's coming soon. It's all part of a plan, Luke. It's coming. Don't you worry. Uh, anyone else? Yeah, AH oh, one th uh, thirteen stew is here. Good smashing. So is coffee and Pietari uh, or Pietari. Pietari, I think I prefer Pietari. And uh, a David as well. Yeah, there you go. Right, hello, good evening. Well, the Banner Lord is gone. Sabutio and her merry band, they're, they're out of here. Uh, yeah, the Vuvu boys have left the building. There is one more Mad Games Tycoon video to come when I've done it, uh, but it's not part of the series, so that's that's fine. They're well over 50s in the house, so that's reassuring. Um, do you get to name the shop? I've no idea. I have. I've got no clue. 
This is this is literally the second time I've loaded it. The first time I loaded it was just to get it set up to stream. Second time I've loaded it is now. Can you turn off the plinky plinky music? No, you cannot. I am going in 100% cold, but I am a master at, uh, at, at simulators, as you know, and therefore it's going to be easy. This is going to be this is going to be laughably easy. I'm going to be an absolute monster. Uh, Coffee has become a member of the Fail Brigade. I'm pretty sure Coffee, you've been a member of the Fail Brigade before, so welcome back or welcome in. It's one or the other, or possibly both. Uh, but welcome both times either way. Uh, vaporized air's turned up. A bit late, but that's okay. It's good. City's chilling. Uh, and uh, the the, uh, the puppy who just attempts to jump on the desk says hello too. Well, that's nice. Uh, uh, anyone else? Any more for any more? Uh, Matt has been a member for, of the Fail Brigade for 25 long months. Will I be able to rename the staff? All the products. Uh, uh, to be honest, the more you can rename, the better it's going to be. <laughs> we all know this, right? We all, we all know that's a fact. Uh, RT officials turned up. Good, good, good. I can get started then. Right. Menu. Is this going to be a series? Is it going to be a one and done? I've got no idea. We'll, we'll see how we get on. We're biding our time until Manor Lords. I am I'm very optimistic that Manor Lords will be the long-term series in the future. I think it has ex all the same Banner Lord-ish flavour. Uh, going on, so it should work out quite madcaps here. So it's been a cool, okay, cool, cool. And a, a, and, a, and a Dave's rocked up as well. I mean, you know, I, I need a Dave totalizer. I need a little button that I could press every time we get a Dave, and then everybody could rename themselves Dave. It would be amazing. Let's let's get on with it. Right. Okay. Uh, right. New game. Welcome to Supermarket Simulator. Yes, bubs. Uh, you'll start with a small store and uh, grow to an awesome supermarket. Well, I know. Uh, start by purchasing goods to sell and place them on the shelves. Don't forget to set the prices at a profit to avoid bankruptcy. Roger that, 10-4, good, but, well, we're here. As order, we're going, as always, rather. This is nice. Yeah, going to have a quick trot down the street, see how far we can go. Eh, it's quite a long way. Okay, what's this around the corner? This is the Woodhouse Spa Centre, right next to the Q Candy Smoke Shop Corporation. I think they're overselling that a little bit. It looks like some, you know, I, I mean, unless it's one of those uh, fronts for uh, for various illicit activities. There's another spa centre. Oh, no, the franchise has set itself up in competition with itself. Uh, dry cleaners, yeah, nice. Yeah. We probably won't come out here again. That's why I'm doing it now. Actually, you know what else? What? Well, the graphics card's not kicking off. This looks quite pretty, and there isn't a lot of screen tearing going on, so I think they've actually got default... The number of settings you can actually play with, incredibly limited. Hello, sir, and or madam. Uh, right. Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit, but I came down there to start with, so it means I'm here. No, that's the dry cleaners. Okay, it means I'm here, I'm here. There's a exclamation mark. Okay, welcome to the store. Yeah. Does this work? It certainly does. Awesome. Okay. That's locked. Uh, okay, I probably have to buy the key. Uh, tills. Right. Groovy. Let's rock. Interact. Doing so. Okay, go to market. Right, we have cereal, which is called uh, Chucky Pick. Uh, we've got Ron sliced bread. Sounds legit. Uh, flour. Sugar powdered. Just sugar powdered. Uh, Jeff's outside the door. The door's not even closed, right? It's it's pushed. To, there's a little gap. You can see it running here. Here. Just that's open. Jeff is perfectly strong enough to push the door open. And yet, is he going to... Go on. There we are. Hello. You coming up? Come on. Don't just sit there bleating. You're putting me off my game. Come up here and put me off my game instead. Shut up. You've been fed. It's a couple of hours until the next dose of your foodstuffs. So put a cork in it, son. Right. Pasta, which is panzati, and uh, lesbian's oil. Okay. You stick it on a shelf. Here he is. Yeah. Hello. Uh, and uh, and then that's that's good. Right. We're going to go with uh, with the perfect with the perfect breakfast of uh, of cereal. For 35 how much money have i got 50 quid oh crumbs that's not much all right let's uh let's have breakfast cereal yeah and oil 
I think that might overrun us. I don't think they're gonna. I think did they did that take? It did take. That's fifty three quid. Really? Yeah, yeah. You can't do sums. Oh yeah, no, I can't. Can I? We're, all right, the oil and uh, and breakfast cereal combo is just going to have to wait for now. It's a shopping cart that works. Amazing. Yeah, that, buy that bad boy. Okay. Um, if I put one of those USB cameras on Jeff and let him roam around in Jeff cam, no, he'd shake it off. It would. He'd, he'd shake it off, and then you'd have no... No Jeff cam. It'd just be lying there while he left in the distance or gave you a, a full-on display of uh, of him having a rare old time. Why should you stop it? There. Right. There you go. That's better. You can carry on now. Sorry, a little bit of cat hygiene. It's necessary. Uh, Andrew, he doesn't need inviting to show you his bottom. He will do in, in the fullness of time. Right. Pick up the boxes that have just arrived. Will do. Can do. Escape. Uh, right. Boxes, plural. Well, I think that was that was possibly a lot of... Ah, oh, sweet. There you go. Lob that in there. Okay. Uh, pick up. Yep. Can I just open it? Oh, no, you open it like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right. Take one out. No? Okay. Uh, I, I see. Oh, you place from the chocky pick. Chocky pick. Chocky pick. All right, cool. Right, open the shop, and let's go. Throw the box outside into the trash. It's the tutorial. I better do as I'm told, otherwise it won't continue. Uh, -ah! No. Go on, then. Trashed. Set the price of the products. Okay, how many did I get? Uh, five. Yeah. Twelve. All right. So, twelve for 35 quid. Yeah, what's that? Three quid a box, more or less. Just under three quid a box. Uh, okay, set price. That's three quid a box. No, 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 no. Two ninety nine is not going to cut it. The market price is five ninety eight. So we're going to go with eight quid. No, we're going to go seven ninety nine. Seven hundred ninety nine quid. Well, if I sold one, we'd be uh, we'd be in it. A profit of a fiver per box. <laughs> All right. Yep, that'll do. However, for for sure. Oh no, no. It's oh, I it's auto priced it. I want to be able to have schizophrenic pricing going on, where depending on which shelf you pick it up from, it's a different... Never mind. Open the store. Yeah. Boop. Yeah, boy. We're on. Hello, sir and or madam. Nice t-shirt. He's looking pretty vexed. And he loves his chalky picks. Okay. Interact with the customer. Hello, sir and or madam. Hello. Yeah. Uh, scan. Boop. <laughs> Take money. I've taken the money. Uh, give us some change. I don't think I will. He needs one cent. Oh, this is glorious. All right, there you go. Right. Well, give it to him then. Yeah. Approve. Hello, sir, and all my good choice. All right. Yeah. I'll take the money. Oh no, that's a boop 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 boop. boop. Oh no, seven ninety nine. Got to ring him up. Oh, flipping egg. Seven dot nine nine. Activate. This is surprisingly good. I mean, it's limited, but I'm already moderately impressed. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. Good. Yeah. Hi. Ah. Awesome. Ah. Hello, sir and or madam. Coming in. It's it's the dudes. Ah, cereal's too expensive for me. Well, get out then. You're in a waistcoat, son. You can afford it. Come on. You know you want a chalky picks. Chalky picks. I've got to do 25 checkouts to proceed to the next level of here he comes. This is a man who means business. Yeah, he's got no hair, but he's got a fat wallet. Take two. Take two. You're going to get through that. That's you'll, you'll clear that at lunch. Thanks, bruv. Uh, what do I need? Change 1201. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 1. And have it. Delightful. All right. Good. Yeah, where do the where do the aliens turn up? Uh, don't know. Right, okay. I've got thirty six quid. You know what we should do? Order some more more stuff. Hello, sir and or madam. Yep, nice tat. Yeah, I mean, arguably those have gone a little out of fashion these days, but I mean, I'm not judging. Right, what do you want? You want a penny? Why don't you leave it in the tip drawer? 
you know the take a penny pot which is a thing in the states which is actually really good hello sir is there a party on somewhere everyone's very well dressed to be coming to my little store to buy a box of cereal still you know there you go nice one uh, right uh, 7.99 have it there you go cheerio then yeah hello sir and she's not invited to the party clearly no She's got other things to do. Unless she's wearing a ball gown underneath the uh, uh, underneath that coat of her. So she doesn't look like she's been invited to the party. Hence the sunny disposition and the fact that she now yeah, settle up. There you go. Well, we're in profit. And I've still got uh, Chucky Picks on the shelf. Let's go and order something else uh, to the market. Yeah. What goes with Chucky Picks? Flipping oil. Uh, you know it. Uh, yeah, right, okay. I've added that to the cart. You have added that to the cart. Uh, oil and what else? Well, more chalky picks. Okay, there's a customer at the checkout. All right, yeah, purchase. Yeah, close, clear, kill. Uh, hello, sir and or madam. Sorry about that. I was restocking because the chalky... We've had a run on chalky picks. I know, you wouldn't have expected it, would you? Uh, what do you need? You don't need anything. Come on in, go away. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, and and or madam yeah, you're flipping can't you just use contactless why why do you need me to do all of this work for you sir madam and or all right good money lovely uh there you go there's a penny is that all he needs yep get out all right let's go and restock boink and get them on there I'm having a massive run on Chalky Picks. Uh, that could wait till later. Yeah. Uh, you've got another box of goodies. Yeah. Okay. Come here. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Get on there. Because yeah. you've got to have something to go on your Chalky Picks, you heathen. All right. I haven't priced it yet. I'm selling a product at price. No, I'm flipping not. Uh, market price is four fifty. Right. Eight quid. Back off, son. Oi, two bottles. I ain't priced it yet. Eight dollars of the money. You cheeky bandits. Oh, this is why you do your totting up. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no change for you. Get out. Uh, right, yeah. Good. No, that's it. Put it in. How much was it? Apparently three quid. Six dollars. It's not the correct payment amount. Flipping is... Uh, three, all right, three bucks, I'll do it. Anything to get you out of my shop, you absolute piss taker. Uh, right, give me that, and then you need no change. Well, go away then. You should be walking before I've finished, flaming clown. Uh, right, good. I think eight quid was possibly a little overboard. Yeah, I know, but I needed to try and recoup. Well, you're not going to recoup if nobody buys anything. The market price is four four fifty, so we'll go with... Five uh, ninety nine because we're a WH Smiths uh, and therefore we price egregiously at every opportunity. Oi, there, oi, Toff, come back. You can afford all of this twice. You can buy the whole store. Uh, never mind. Uh, good, there we go. Can I rinse their credit card? I, try, I gave it a try. I, I, I didn't need it's Oh, no, no, less beads oil. It's made of real less beads. Or les, les Pieds, which is going to be uh, the walkings. Yeah. Oh, just, there you go. Uh, the goose has uh, t stuck two quid in the penny taker jar. Oh, very wise. Oh, here you go. Look, they're both into it. Oh, she's she almost snaked him in the queue there. There could have been violence. Uh, that would have been a disaster for both of them. Uh, 13, yeah, dot, nine, eight have it thank you sir and or madam uh right and you you've given me money what do you want nothing go away turn the light on i'm not sure i can be bothered but i will uh lights on there you go we're open 24 6 or until the game tells me to stop yeah uh if you place an item on the wrong shelf you can remove it using the box it came in out of to do so uh, Albert, I hope I hope you're not planning on offering too many tips, because the delights come from me getting everything wrong. I mean, that's that's just the way life. Is. He wants two, one to drink now, one for later. When he needs to rehydrate, he's got a pocket full of disco biscuits and he's out to have a good time. Uh, 
Oh, and a, a wax mannequin has cut. He's got. He's gone for the double chalky picks. He knows what he likes, and it's chalky pick. Go on in. That didn't look like you gave me twenty one ninety seven, but if I mean, if that's how it is, oh, gee, flaming. Yeah, I've got nine. I've, I've almost doubled my money on day one, Jeff, and I've got stock. Oh no, les pieds is too too pricey for me. Well, go away then. No, Chucky Picks is too expensive. But when you've got a Chucky Picks, the only thing that will satisfy is Chucky Picks. You all know it. Yeah. You're really doing four hours of this. No, no, I'm hoping that we'll get some variation going on in the old gameplay after I clear another nine checkouts. Okay, good. Okay, all right, nice one. <sighs> Am I able to use the numpad? I'll, I'll try it on the next one, Coffee. I'll give it a spin. I'll uh, I'll give it a go. Um, assuming there's any more customers. What time is it? It's 9 p.m. And time has stopped. Rather suggesting that's it for the day. <laughs> mm, okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. And enter. Okay. What do we got? 14 satisfied customers. Nine products were too expensive. Good. I'm, I don't think we're going to have a shortage of products. I think uh, it's uh, it's going to be straightforward. 130 quid, 138 quid in, 93 quid out. That's 44 profits. All right, we start playing bills today, which I, so I'm going to have to go over here to read it. Uh, the bills using your computer before their due date, or they'll people. Well, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, that's basically don't spend everything. All right, yeah, you over here. Right. More, more devices makes things more pricey, is what I managed to determine from that. Right, what else should we have? Well, let's go sugar. Yeah. I think those are going to fly, so we'll have two of them. Uh, we'll keep the Choco uh, choco pick uh, topped up. Uh, the uh, Lay Pieds, we're going to need some of that. And some, some, some sliced bread. Yeah. Is this really all we... No, there's some... F no, I can get furnitures as well. I don't need furniture. That's ninety three thirty six. You've you've shopped efficiently here, son. Thanks. Hold on. What do you want? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where was there was four quid shipping? Oh, clear off. Fine. I'll take one box of sugar puffs. Ah. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's get them on the shelf. I mean, you can include shipping in. The, this is why you know having a flat rate sales thing is the way to go. Anyway, what do we got in here? Apparently just bread. Perfect. It's Ron's sliced bread. Uh, but what, bongo bread? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's uh, Ron, Ron bo bongo, bongo bread. Right, chuck that over there. And I'll set the price before you lose yourself. Okay. Market price is three ninety six. Not in this shop. It's uh, four yeah, eighty seven. There you go. Uh, that's that's the thing, Jeffy. Could you sit somewhere else? You're making this very awkward, uh, right? You, I think this is more lay pieds, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, go we'll whap them out there. Yeah, and on the shelf below. Yeah, I reckon. There you go. Smooth. All right, next. Uh, it's a box of chalky picks. Chalky picks. It's the way to live. It does not half rot your brain and teeth. What's the problem? Why can't I throw it there? Sure I can. There you go. Throw it. I can't throw it here. I'll throw it there then. Yeah, be that way. Right, good. And one more box of things. Which is... Poudre. Ah, that's nice. Sucre on Poudre. Beautiful. Uh, I love I love some Sucre on Poudre. It's one of my favourites. Right, chuck it over there. And, I don't know, what is it? It's powdered sugar fruits. Sounds wicked. Uh, four eighty nine market price. Eighty four eighty three market price. I'm sensing an average there. Uh, this is a premium, a premium product. This is. Uh, hang on. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, it took. Yeah, it took that. Six dot nine nine. Okay. Yeah. Right. Are we done? Are we golden? We are golden. Activate. Okay. We're going in. And do 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 do
this is why I do these videos, you know, because I can I can chop out these down times. But on the plus side, I'm getting two. I did I did I leave two oils in the box? I'll get to them later. Um, I've got oil. Oil I've got. It's fine. It's all it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's all good. I only need nine more checkouts. Let's uh, attract some customers. Come on in. Uh, I could throw boxes in the bin. We have always the fun in that. Uh, right, come here. Hello, sir and or madam. Oh, he's not. I, I can barely see him with his camouflage trousers. There you go. Two boxes of chalky picks and some oil. That is the serving suggestion. Go away. All right, hello, sir and or madam. Ah, you want some bongo breads? Get it. Yeah, do you want some change? Nope. Go away then. What do you mean insufficient change? Oh, he gave me a ton. And he wants uh, he wants ninety five quid thirteen change right fifty seventy ninety uh, what was it ninety five ninety five uh, and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen enjoy hello sir and or madam right there you go two boxes of sugar for me baby uh, is what she says and I go I'm happy to oblige thirteen dot nine eight Keypad's a no. Keypad is a no. 13.98. You have to use the awkward little touch screen that doesn't quite work perfectly as well. Anyway, there you go. Have fun with it. She's probably going to drizzle it all over an art piece. Because that's what people do with uh, cereal in the world. There you go. Good. Hello there, uh, stripy tie. Uh, I've come in for a sugar fix, please. Yes. All right. There you go. Go on, go away. Hello, madam. Two oils, two breads, please. I'm going to stick them all in the same soup. It's going to be delightful. Uh, right, yeah, get some, get gone. Cool. How are we looking for stock? Absolutely fabulous. How are we looking for money? Pretty good. Okay, yeah, nice, good. Yeah, Kuzer has been a member of the Fail Brigade for 38 long months. Yeah. And uh, it's saying bread price and a pick and mix. Oh, if only I had. If I can do nothing but pick and mix, I will. Do you want some change? No. Well, leave. And here's your, your twin brother's just here. Is there a mannequin conference in town? There you go, sir. Thank you. What do you need? Nothing. Well, go away, then. Insufficient change. Go away. I'm not giving you any change. You don't deserve it. You're one of the 1%. Uh, Give it to hard-working shop personages such as myself. You know, seven and three. Five, one, seven, and two, three. Leave. There you are. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. Uh, thank you. Yep, bang it in. Wallop and smash in the price. See, the WH Smith's pricing policy is working fine. If anything, I'd say I'm not charging enough. I'm not charging enough, Pickle. No, 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 you'll be fine. Yeah, you go. You kind of go, oh, no, the cereal's too expensive. I'll have two loaves of bread instead. Yeah, that'll make me happy. Yeah, well, yeah. What do you want from me? Leave. Good. Uh, you are playing definitely not fried chicken this afternoon. Is it really? I, I, I've not, I'm not aware of. Oh, Le Pied, she's, she's appalled at the price of lay pieds as well. Uh, yeah. The world's trying to tell me I haven't priced the bread. I have. Look. Bread, it's priced. See? Market price is three ninety eight. I've priced it. See? I've priced it. Pay attention, C2. You just you just burned your special honk honk on telling me something you didn't need to tell me because you weren't paying attention. Uh, let's top up the oil while I'm out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. See? And wallop into the corner. You, you're a fire hazard. Go and stand there. You. Why would you not go into the corner? Oh, there you go. You're going to the corner now. Lovely. Oh, did I leave that there? Yeah. Oh, probably for a reason. Can't throw it here. Watch me. There you go. See? Yes, I can. Uh, hey. Yeah, the chat not paying attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mulls Bixie. Uh, Mulls? Mulls Bixie? Mulls Bixie. Oh, that's too expensive for me. Yeah, well, it's not too expensive for her, though. She's going to get some. Oh, no, she's all about the sugar. Hello. Yeah. I know exactly what you're having when you get home. You're going to put sugar all over your bread, aren't you? 
which is why you have that wide-eyed expression of I'm having a great time. Uh, right, give me this, yeah, that, and the other, and off you go. Hello, madam. What are you in the mood for? Jockey picks. Yes. Yeah, very smart play on your... Oh, dear, look at her. She's had such a rough day. No, no, you can keep it. Uh, no, you can have it for free. It's fine. No, 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 you can, you can have it for nothing. Oh, all right. I've got to purchase a product license. Uh, what do you, need? you don't need anything. Go away. Right, good. 189 quid in the bank. I should flip in Coco. Uh, hello, sir and or madam. Might I interest you in the Chocky Pigs? Uh, Tom has been a member of the Fail Brigade four to six long months and just pressed the button because uh, who doesn't enjoy a Hong Kong? Well, quite frankly, everybody likes a Hong Kong. There you go. There's 2p. Don't spend it all at once. Well, you can't spend it in here. Nothing costs 2p. Yeah. Oh, no, Le Pieds is far too expensive. My apologies, Jean-Claude. It will be fine, though. Have some bread. He is going to liquefy the bread and turn it into... I don't know what accent I'm doing. Probably all of them. Hello, sir and or madam. Sugar. <laughs> Good choice. Uh, 13.98. Absolutely. Trot on. Alright, 8.32. Synesthesia's getting on the Hong Kong train. Uh, after 44 long months. A perfectly valid use of it. Perfectly valid use. Uh, sugar plus butter, or ghee and clarified butter on bread, um, uh, is, uh, is sinfully good. It really is. And I think there isn't a culture that has developed anywhere in the world... That hasn't worked this out. They've all gone, yeah, this this just worked. You don't, what do you want from me? Oh, you want 83 quid? Fine. Uh, yeah. 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 Hang on. Wait a sec. And then 27. And... Enjoy! <laughs> You'll be back. Ah, Le Pieds is not too expensive for you know what's up. It's only five ninety nine. What are you even complaining about? Goodbye! Uh, it's shop closing time. Stone Steak has been a man for 21 months and is trying to start a Hong Kong train. Well, I mean, that's one way to use your time, if, uh, if that's how you like yourself. 250 notes in the bank. Rock and roll. Right, use uh, purchase a product license using a computer. Uh, yeah. Okay, products. No, oh, finishes. Product license. No, well, look, here's the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Product license. Maybe it's a different computer. Mm. No, I'm, I, I'm sure I saw two screens, not one. Yes, you taught, saw two screens here. Oh, yeah. Right, what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need more sugar. That stuff sold out like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, we should probably stuff multiple shelves with that. Okay, well, do you want to get the order in now? No, I, I want to do... Oh, hold on, press the Windows button. There you go. No. No, no. Purchase product license. Okay. Market. Ah, close market. There you go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Management. Product license adds bottled water, cheese, coffee dark roast, eggs in an eight-pack, milk, and tea pack. Oh, Goodness me. New to spin remember for 45 months joining in the train. Diet's been in for 15. Uh, choo choo. Steady Bob's been in for 43. Why are you watching without subscribe? So, well, I mean, these are positive messages and everything. But people are going to get very sick of the honk honk very quickly. 200 quid for a level 3 store license, but I've only got 254 quid and I do need to re up. Uh, uh, do it, do it. You can re up to the tune of 50 quid. Just buy another box of sugar and everything will be groovy. Oh, crumbs, look at all this rubbish. Yeah, I don't even want to sell it. I just want to level up. I'm doing what the tutorial says. Uh, sugars. All right, a pair of those. And then don't sting me too much on the shipping. Uh, two quid. It's a quid a box for shipping. Gotcha. Right. And they're closed. Uh, okay. All right, I'll do it in the morning. Uh, thank you. Yep, good. Right, closed. Get out. And then what? Uh, press enter. Ah, here's some statistics. 15 satisfied customers, but we rinsed them. 
And that's the important thing. The important thing is to rinse it. Can you rename the products? I don't think so. Uh, I think they are locked because of what the packaging says. It's fair enough. Um, I can, I can, oh, hold on. Market prices have changed. Not in this shop. Uh, no, we are, we're consistent in our pricing policy. 54 quid. We're going to have to pay some bills at some point, apparently. Nah, I had details. Uh, what else do we need? You've got loads of that. Chocky Picks is going for, you know, whatever. Sliced bread, the unit price, it's going up in price. We did go through quite a lot of sliced bread yesterday. That's 37 quid. That'll probably do it. Yeah. Okay, good. No, it's not two quid a box. You're just charging me two quid. All right, well, whatever. Go on, get it in. Get it done. Get it gone. Get it on. Get it on and done and, and in. I should sell axes and drums to engage the audience. Uh, yes. I mean, okay. Uh, I, I mean, yes, it is what you people like, but at the same time, we'll see. Just stick that up there. I don't need the shelf space. Put that in the corner. Uh, right. The average cost is now four ninety two. Okay, well in this case we're gonna go straight up to four sixty three. Yeah, five 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 sixty three good now yeah, because re restocking the shelves is a drag uh so i don't want to have to do it too often see i'm thinking things through here what we got in here sugar right we went through all of that at 6.99 yesterday uh now as much as i've got two uh two pallet loads we're making six quid a pop yeah all right okay fine yeah we'll leave it no it's good it's all good Right, yeah, go on, get in. All right, where are we putting these? Oh, up here. For the tall people, and then some down here for those who are slightly more height restricted. All right, smooth. Good. Are we ready? Yeah, let's rock it. All right, light this candle. Let's go. Profit me. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm coiled. Uh, D Shrub, as uh, as. Stuck a fiver in the bucket as an appreciation for the amazing ending to the Voo Voo Boy saga. I, I, opinion is split. Uh, there is a there is a, a more, slightly more silent rather than effervescent audience um, who have given thumbs up to a post that says, "I didn't I didn't rate the didn't rate the ending." Uh, I kind of go, I kind of got the ending. I got the point of it, but I didn't didn't enjoy it. Didn't love it. Didn't love the ending. Oh uh, well. Well, don't spoil the ending. Don't spoil the ending. T-Bone's only up to episode 65. Well, you've got 38 episodes to go. No, you haven't. You've got 28. You've got less. You've got some episodes to go. 38. You were right the first time. Hello, sir and or madam. Chocky picks it is and two loaves of bread. Good choice for you. And what do you need? 75p. Okay. 50. 72. 5. Whatever. Have, have extra change. You can take your money back by right-clicking on the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I gave her 2p extra change. She was wearing a happy dress for the summertime period. Flipping heck, he loves it. I go, hello, I'm I'm there. I need to double up. I'm double dosing. And you're going to go, works for me, bro. Put it in a flipping card reader. Don't wait for me. Uh, 2796. Have you not used a shot before? All right, bruv, how are you? Hey. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, everybody. Uh, I mean, this is a, the breakfast of champions going on here. Uh, yeah, thirteen and ninety-eight pennies. Cheerio. Goodbye. Come, come back. Don't come back. Don't come back. Yeah. What's she going for? She's going for it. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, lunch and dinner sorted right there. Smooth. You've chosen very astutely. This is what all the kids are doing these days. They uh, they then they then tick TikTok themselves doing the lay pieds and chalky picks challenge. Although she's got it wrong, she's doing it with sucre. That's like the American lady making tea in a microwave. Uh, and even as someone who doesn't rate tea like myself, uh, just kind of go, no, you're wrong. You are so wrong. Just oh no, shouldn't be allowed. Someone call the police. Uh, Steve has been a man for 23 long months. Can't believe I'm not stocking chunkyos. Were I able, I would. Yeah. 5.99. Goodbye. Yeah, no. Don't, they don't appear to... Uh, that would have been the perfect crossover, you know? 
just perfect perfect you know, i don't even mind i didn't mind cleaning the conveyor belt uh it was yeah no it's it's light light pieds and chalky picks nom 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 yeah what's going on uh did you give me money pay me it says i should give him six quid change and there's a queue building all right okay fine Boop, beep. go you couldn't find less beads oil oh no don't tell me i'm out oh crumbs he wanted flipping lapy heads oil and he couldn't get it five dot six three who priced this uh oh back again sir yeah i hope you've got some leftover lapy heads oil from yesterday bing bong bong bing yeah, 37. Uh, 20, 30. Did I hit the buttons? I might have done. What do you want? 27p. Uh, 20. Do so. Bonk. Uh, hello there. Right. Bonk, bonk. Oh, he's uh, Chucky Pick Sanger. She's going for. Uh, well, uh, usually I go with lay pieds smeared all over me, Chucky Picks, but you appear to be out of lay pieds. What am I to do? She's not happy. She's going... I, I must now feed my children on something unsatisfactory. You want 88 quid? You're laundering flipping funny money. It's okay. I'll palm it off on the bank and they won't be any the wiser. Uh, right. 85, 6, 7, 8, and uh, 50. What are, you, what are you like? 74. All right. Ding, ding. Boom, 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 boom. Have an extra penny back. I don't need it. You, well, why don't you just do it quick then? Give them, Just overcharge them. Uh, overchange them. It will build customer confidence. They go, <laughs> he gave me too many points back. Uh, chalky picks for you, sir. Lovely. Yeah, I would restock, but I'm in the middle of work, and therefore it's hard. Yeah. You've taken the last two chalky picks. You're taking no chances. What do you need? Change, 34 quid. Okay. Bonk. I love that it's space bar. Ah, oh, that sits so neatly underneath my hat. Well, go away. Uh, right. What time is it? It's 5 p.m. The the evening rush is coming on. I need uh, I need a, at least two boxes of that. Yeah. Okay. And I need less bids oil. Give me three. All right. Give me some sugar, baby. Uh, two of them. Yeah. And some some rom rom bongos. And that'll be great purchase all of that business thank you very much get out of my shop all right no just get out of the computer sugar's too expensive for me well don't buy it then right what do we got sugar all right. yeah whatever right come on next come on come on we've got to get the important stuff on the shelf oh no i mean because we're feeding people there you go look it's all there it's all there you can have it you can have some yeah all right uh, he's ready to purchase. All right. uh, hello, sir and or madam. What do you want? Sugar. Sweeteners. Uh, nuts. Get in. All right. 6.99. Go. Right. I'm going to have someone outside flipping, nicking all of my wares. Yeah. Hello. Right. Good. Yeah, I know I need to turn the light on, but I'm, I'm frantic. I'm frantically trying to keep you all served and nourished on this beneficial nourishment that I'm selling here. All right. You need 11 dot two six go leave hello all right two bottle of lay pieds we went earlier buying the associated chalky picks that the chat's full of messages that i've got to read but i can't stop it's important that i that i service the personages 80 quid and what three all right 50 70 80 and five all right go yeah bing bing bong thank you right what do you need nothing leave my shop all right, you can find what sliced bread. It's out here in a box. If you wanted to help out, you know that could have worked for us. Ah, yeah, well, never mind. Ho hum. Yeah, I mean we finished the day without a full stock, but we've got lots of stock for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Out that. Yeah, and blat it on the shelf. All right. Okay. Yeah. And this one. Right. Open her up. Yeah, more bread. All right. Uh, I've, the bread shelf's full. Okay. Can't throw it here. Yeah, I can. Yeah, go. Right. Open it. I'm going to chalky pick. Hang on, bruv. I'll be right there. I'm just chalky picking. Right. Yeah. Did you press the bell that goes ding? That's not allowed. Also, you're wearing sunglasses and it's dark in here, and therefore you're a clown. 
Uh, right, 11.98. Have it. Get out. Right. You couldn't find Navalo co coffee roast because we don't sell coffee. Coffee is for the undead. It's for people with no taste buds because it tastes rancid. You bespectacled git. I told him, don't come back. We don't take your kind here. Uh, chalky picks. Right. Stuff it on the shelf. Right. There you go. We are an official chalky pick stockist, as everybody knows. Uh, right. Yeah. Blast some of these. They don't, everyone goes for the chalky picks and uh, lay pieds blend. That's what we do here. That's what I want is I want to open up a flipping coffee chain shop and sell nothing but chalky picks and lay pieds blended right smooth right let's catch up on the messages uh now then where were we uh i'm gonna have to go over here and do it because there's been a few of you executing the button uh right uh here we go steve has been a member for 23 long months thanks steve I uh, can't believe you're not stocking chunky. Yeah, oh, no, I did cover that one. Andrew has been a man for 14 long months. Had a big happy birthday for your Dave, a.k.a. Mr. Hipbone. I did not know the two of you were related. Possibly I wasn't paying enough attention. Well done, Mr. H. Lovely job. Lovely job. Uh, T-Bone's game has been a man for eight months in a row. Thank you for the support. Because yep, T-Bone was T-boned in a car accident. Uh, I bought another of Jag. Oh, T-Bone in a Jag, no less. Normal channel service will reserve when he's well. Uh, feel free to go and hit up the T-Bone is Gaming Adventure Channel Network. Uh, you are sure to be undisappointed at such behaviour. Gretchen's chucked 2222 into the Super Chats. Thank you, Gretchen. Uh, you were perfectly happy watching this in bed in your phone, but you given a change in the form of a mountain of singles and a stack of pennies, forced you to get up, so you could call me an absolute savage. <laughs> uh, it had to be done. You knew it was coming. I mean, the second you knew it was possible, you had to know it was coming. Uh, Jake has been a member seven months in a row. I like that the online store has the same brand name under the item. Uh, sometimes it's the little things. The attention to detail so far is pretty good. So far. Uh, Peter's been a member for 46 long months in a row. Welcome to the niche shop where none of your real needs are catered for. If you can't find what you need in this shop, you don't need it. Uh, right. There you go. Just, I mean, look at this. Some some flipping Neanderthals being in here, stocking these shelves. There you go. You've got to make sure the customers can actually get to where they need to be. Yeah, super. Right, we're done for the day. Have we got a black light on or something? That's possibly not worth, not worth talking about. Okay. Only 14 customers. It didn't feel like flipping. No, there was 25, 25 customers. Ah. Uh, yes. Good. Right. We made 322 large. Nice. Uh, well, it's not large, though, is it? No, it's not. This 322 regular. Uh, total profit of 98 quid. Not bad at all. No particular costs associated currently. Start the next day. Right, purchase a fridge or shelf. I've got 150 quid. If it comes in at less than 150 quid, I will do. Uh, to the market, to the mat, to the management. Storage. Storage is locked. Well, stuff storage then. Market. Furnitures. Shelf is 200 quid. Yeah. A fridge is 200 quid. Okay, well, that's what we've got to do next. I will do. As soon as the opportunity presents itself. Now, what am I short on? Arjun has become a member of the Fail Brigade. Oh, yes. Uh, can I find the light switch? Yep, it's here. See, it's how, I, it's how I attract customers when I turn the lights off. Yeah. Like moths, they are. Yeah, okay, good. You're going to restock your stock while you can stock with the restock and you're not overflowing with customers. Yeah, I probably should, shouldn't I? All right, what do you got yet? No, there's there's a packet of soup de poudre. Oh, okay. Put the soup de poudre on the shelf. Good job. All right. Stick that in the corner, please. Uh, and you. Uh, some more soup de poudre. Poudre soup. Uh, yeah. That's full. That's full. All right. Good. Smooth. Yeah. Sit over there. Yeah. Sit over there. Oh, it's nice. Got a good stack going there. Uh, breads, breads, bottom shelf, 
if you ask me. Smooth and fair. Oh, yes. Uh, the mini game has opened itself. It's surprising what you can accomplish graphically when you don't bother with shadows. Go on, get up. Yes. That's the way it's meant to be. Uh, someone will go like, I know you've got an awful lot of box. My husband and I are moving house shortly. Uh, could we possibly have them? I go, yeah, there are ten or each. Uh, how many do you want? I've got plenty. Put all your delicates in there. And it'll be, uh, it'll be awesome for you. Yeah. No. Nope. Almost. I think you're too close. All right. Uh, it's because you've only got a tiddler on the top. Hang on. Go on. Go on. You'll do it. Try it again. I'll flip in it. The entire stack's disappointed me. All right. Get over there. You. You could just drop it. Oh, okay. Good plan. Drop. I'll drop that. No. Hang on. Oh, no. I can choose where I drop it. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, but it won't drop it on top of anything else. Okay, well, uh, well, we'll, we'll resol resolve that ourselves. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. It's never going back where it was. Maybe you could, if you did some of the smaller boxes. Okay, and, well, yeah, that worked. All right, no, start a bigger box heap here. That's not working either. It is now. Right, there you go. That's it. Now, it's because I was trying to put the uh, Lapied Zoil uh, boxes and, uh, and mingling with the uh, uh, Chalky Mix. Chalky Picks, whatever. Uh, and Steady. Right. And get up. Oh, it's just beautiful. And then you should be with this heap. Sorted. Right, open the shop. Let's go. No, are you going to re-up at all? I've got loads. Uh, Arjun's chucked a fiver in a bucket. Nice one. Uh, I did just buy the game while watching the live stream, which is new for me, so I thought I might as well get back in the fail brigade. Hey, good times. Nice one, Arjun. Good good job. Worked. Love, let's go. Off we are. Then it is. Um, and we're, and we're we building a Jeff Funhouse. Now, Jeff likes one box, which he will enjoy for a day and a half, shred the hell out of, and then never go in again. Uh, and he just kind of goes, bring me another box. You don't even have to put it in the same place. He'll just kind of go, yeah, box me. All right, is there anything else that's dis indispensable? Cheese. This is true. Right. Uh, how, many, how much cheese do you want? Yes. I've got 152 quid. I'll have 129 quid's worth of cheese. Okay, yeah. It feels like a lot of cheese. Everyone loves cheese. This is true. I am lactose intolerant. Well, you can lactose your way out of my house then. Uh, have I got a shelf left? Yes. All right, cheese it. Needs to be placed in a fridge. <laughs> Ah, oh well. In which case, <laughs> beautiful. Ah, that's a classic me move. That is. In fact, in that case, we'll leave it out here to ripen. Uh, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be fully mature by the time uh, I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to go. Yeah, beautiful. Right, let's rock. Good, good. Yeah. Now it's gonna it's gonna be uh, muy picante by the time uh, by the time it's actually ready to rock and roll. Uh, it's, uh, it's good. <laughs> Catherine goes, so someone who is lactose intolerant. It's totally fair. Yeah, go and lactose yourself out of my shop. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to cater to you. Here's, here's how you have lactose-free stuff. Don't have lactose that's in, in the first place. But I'm also gluten intolerant. You can still have sugar. Right? You, everything's still fine. As long as you can have sugar, you're all good. Uh, can I put the boxes in next door to recycling like your neighbours do? I love you, Pete. That's a good one. Yeah. I've got an even better... Oh, sorry. Sugar's on. Uh, hello, madam. Yeah. All right. What do you want? 13 98 Have a good day. Oh, hold on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, seven. Nine, nine. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, good. You couldn't find any flour. Well, we don't sell it. That's why. Uh, a couple of... He's going to lather himself up later on and have a lovely time. He's going to wear his special underwear. Have a good day. Yeah. 
They don't call him Slippery Joe for nothing. Uh, hello, madam. Sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what we need? I need shopping trolleys pronto. I think it's I think it's essential to the shopping experience in a shop this small. That it, or, or some of those stupid poxy little baskets with wheels on the bottom. Oh, that would be that would be nice. Whew. Uh, can you have sugar and lapy eds? You totally can. That's I mean that's multiple food groups, uh, all in one. It's a meal, uh, which is why people are so taken with it here at the uh, at the lapy eds and chalky mix speciality. There's nothing natural in uh, in chalky mix anyway. Uh, yeah, it's all chemicals, so you're not allergic to any of that. Good, you couldn't find any bottled water. Nice, because it's a swizz. Go and find a tap, you dope. Right. Yeah, just just get a bottle, put it under the tap. I mean, I'm quite... You know what? We need some bottled water. We do need some bottled water. Yeah, no, I'm very out. Uh, it, it's not mouldy, Andy. I'm turning it blue. People pay a premium price for blue cheese. Oh, he's going the alternate way. He's he's gone for the uh, he's gone for the sugar and oil mix. A connoisseur. Lapierts is too expensive, but I want it on my chalky mix. What am I going to do? Uh, no, he he doesn't like this bread. He doesn't trust it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh with my I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have bread sandwiches. What's going in the middle? More bread. That's why I bought two loaves. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. I'm sad. Yeah, well, you should be. Uh, 11.26. Get a job. Have a good day. Right. Lapy Eds just sounds like uh, The Feet. It does. It is. It does. That's what, that's what it's good. That's the brand name. Uh, yeah. Hello. What? You want 37p? All right. Here you go. 20, 30, 5, 6, 7. You gave her more change than she needed there. She'll be back. Uh, I mean, it's also a measure of just how dishonest all these customers are. I go, <laughs> I've been over check. In fact, how dishonest are they? Right. Are you paying with money? No. All right. The next person to pay with money is getting overchanged by 20 quid. All right. I want to see how honest you are. Two, six. Good. Bye-bye. Does no one use money anymore? No, 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 no. Car machine's broken. <coughs> Ron Bongo sliced bread is too expensive. What are you doing? She she hasn't got her contacts in. Yeah. Okay, I got 173 quid. It's not enough for a fridge. It's okay. Cheese is coming up lovely. Uh, Matthew's been a member of the Fail Brigade for 46 long months and has pressed the button to declare that 46 long months have passed. What am I short on? Uh, you've got plenty of lapy heads. Yeah. Sugary snacks, we're all about. Chalky picks were good. Bread's good. We're, we're all good. Everything's good here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hello, sir and or madam. I want lapy heads on bread. <laughs> you know, you add uh, susu on top of that as well. You're going to be well pleased. Right. You don't need any change. Here's your change. She doesn't care. She just walked off with 20 quid change. I'm sickened. I'm sickened at the dishonesty. Deary me. Oh, crumbs. It's my weekly shop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've got to do what you've got to do. 77p. Uh, 50. 70, 70 pennies. Get out. Hello there, big lad. You're back for some more. Nice one. Uh, five and the 99. Enjoy your life. Uh, right. Oh, you're doing the alternate sugar sandwich. Yeah, what well, well, you've gave me... Go away. You can find any cheese. There's some out on the curb. Help yourself. It's uh, room temperature. Assuming the room t is in direct sunlight. No? Okay. Yeah. I can't even reach the light switch from here. Well, I'm not going to turn it on then. No, we'll keep doing it. If a ham sandwich is ham in between two slices of bread, and a bread sandwich is bread in between two... Yes, it is. Yeah. A bread sandwich is bread in between two pieces of bread. I can't afford the feet. Uh, it's foot oil. 
You smear it on your foods. Yeah, you want you want ninety two quid change? Well, as much as I am able to overchange you, I can't underchange you, which is very disappointing to me. Yeah, have some bread. Love it. Uh, Eleven und sechs und zwanzig. Wiedersehen. Right, next. Uh, oily bread, please. Okay. Yeah. Good. Stick that in here. Yeah. 17 and the 25. Have I got enough for a fridge? Yeah. Can fire any bottle of water? Have we don't sell it yet. We will. Oh, you know we will. Yeah. No. The bottled water moment is coming. Turn the light on so I can see what I'm doing. Right. Uh, give me the market. Market. Furnitures. Fridge A. Fridge A. What? We're closed. Oh, they're, they're not open till morning. Oh, all right, okay. Well, I'll, I'll pick it up in the morning. Yeah. We're, we're, all right, okay. Well, if you're... I mean, these are late night shops. Go, oh, can't believe it's still open. I go, yeah, I'm prepared to still sell of you. Three, four, and a penny. Off you trot. Breads. Okay. What? Oh, you plastique. 11 and 26s. Uh, 26s, yeah. Goodbye. Right. Yeah. Hello. I notice you have foot oil in now. I do. Y'all uh, come again soon now, you hear? It's because I turned the light on. It gave them a false sense of anticipation that I'd actually serve them. Uh, anyway, good. Right, done with that. Lixwolf has chucked six bucks in the bucket for the fridge funds. That's very good of you. Uh, that's uh, for the people. <laughs> clearly, clearly for the people. Start the next day. All right, good. There's the cheese. You can smell it from inside the shop. It's why so many people come in looking for it. And they just kind of go, oh, fromage. I go, go, flipping right fromage. Uh, bang that in the cart. That's two fridges. You can't afford two fridges. All right. Give me a, give me a fridge. Do you want anything else? Now nah, be good. Well, actually, I do want other things. Give me some more chalky picks. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's remembering my order. Nice. Okay, give me some Ron. Yeah. How much have I got left? 99 quid. Okay, I've got 99 quid and nothing to spend it on. We're, we're doing all right for Susu. Yes. The unit price is going down. Word to your mother. Uh, and uh, and we always do well on Lapieds. Can I run to a Lapieds? Yes, you can. And a second one. Groovy. Right. Oh, no, hold on. No. Uh, how much is a case of uh, snake oil? It is 15 quid. Smashing. Uh, something for the simpletons to purchase who haven't worked out that water is free. Um, good. Where's my shelf? No, that's the bottled water. Okay, hang on. So, boop. Where do you want it? I want it right about back at you know right about here right about there funky okay good what we're we putting in there what are you a uh, sub bongo bread marvelous load her up oh load her up how much more have i got in there you've got some uh, well that'll that'll wait for a re-up later on let's put the re-up boxes back here and that way we know where they are See, that's, that's brains, that is. Chalky picks. Must be sure to them. Because they are way popular. Uh, good. Yeah, right, what's this? Uh, it's uh, Le Pieds. We do get through it. Yeah, I know, it's very popular with the locals. Yeah, well, I mean, you've got to hydrate. It's true. Uh, yeah, and next. Uh, this is low. Ah, oh, okay. Bang some low in the fridge. And low. There was some low in the fridge. Right, actually, let's make the... Oh, I can't crouch. Can I crouch? Press C. Now, let's close the box. Oh, that's handy to know. Uh, right. Yeah, no. There you go. Low. Cool. Bang. Right. Price it. Uh, that is... Uh, ooh. Uh, it just... It's, it, it's $12... And uh, 85 cents. Yeah. 
You want it? Buy it. Okay? That's all I'm telling you. Uh, I don't set the prices. They're set by the government. Yeah, it's a tax on stupidity uh, and the fact that you're killing the planet with your single-use plastic. <laughs> you dreadful people. Yeah. Good. All right, stick that over here. It needs to ripen a bit more. Otherwise, it won't have that nice rind. Yeah, good. Can't throw it here. Angle up a bit. Can throw it here. Oh, good. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess we're using this shelf. It's nice that one box equals one shelf. That works for me. Yep. All right. There you are. Yeah, I mean, I could have a running hose outside with, uh, with you know, help yourself written there. No, no. Well, okay, well, fine. I was going to open it first. There you go. That's it. Just adds a frisson of something tasty. I haven't priced my cheese. Oh, yeah. Okay. It cost me what? Uh, buck 80 ish. All right. Uh, what are we selling it for? Seven quid dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's very reasonable. Very reasonable. Uh, if you want some cheesy water, you know, there is a. Uh, there is an overhead associated with the fridge. Uh, right. Are we good to go? I've only got 11 quid left, so you know we're good to go. Open the fridge. Let's go. Waiting for the customers who want some food delights. Uh, good. Can I sell products to customers they didn't ask for? Can I upsell? Ooh, that would be fun. Didn't I think Shopkeep 1 had, uh, had upselling. But they took it out for shopkeep too. I don't recall if it was that way around or not. Maybe somebody knows. Um, but either way, just thrusting your wares in someone's face. There's there's a delight to that. Uh, I, I've always felt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Waiting for customers. Let's see if they're already coming. Ah, here he is. He wants it. Yeah. I'll do my store detective bit. Yeah. Ah, top shelf for you, sir. Ah, very good. Very good. Uh, oily sugar, please. Oily sugar? Yes. Uh, well well done. Uh, you've you've chosen wisely. You want seven dollars and two cents change. There you go. Have a nice day. T to you, sir. Ah, bottle water's too expensive. Yes, it is. Cheese is too expensive. No, it's not. Cheese is worth every flipping penny. No, it's not too expensive. It's not too expensive. Oi, hipster, buy some flipping water. No, I just have the sugar, thanks. All right, well, I mean, you'll be back. You know, nowhere else sells it, right? You know, we are the only ones. Yeah, you'll be back. And I'll tell you something else. I'm not in a rush to sell it. No, you'll be back. Back. Can I employ a Ger 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 Granville? I yes, I probably can. I, in fact, I know I can. Um, I don't think you can hire uh, shelf stackers at the moment, um, which is a shame. It's not too expensive. It's artisanal. I've made it more valuable by uh, aging it. Yeah, it's not old. It's aged. There's a difference. You couldn't find a Tea Palace Tea Black. Because we don't sell a Tea Palace Tea Black. It's not too expensive. Someone's going to buy it. And I'm not buying another pallet until uh, until that happens. So get used to it. It's not too expensive. <sighs> I, I don't know. I mean, these people are not discerning. They're not. They're clearly not my clientele. No, it's all, I don't know. No, no. Ah, oh, God, oh, no. Well, you're skint, aren't you, bruv? Yeah, you come in here in your skinny jeans, expecting just to be given it on a platter. Well, I'm not giving it to you on a platter. I'll give it to you on a conveyor belt. Right, but only if you stump up the cash. There we go. Arrivederci. Ah, lovely. Yes. Yeah, I know. They're a bunch of cheapskates. They don't know when they've got it good. 
and they could have it good if they were to visit the guy he feels like god look he's walking like a manly man no he's not no he's not no oi this is not a public thoroughfare this is the sacred unspoken behind counter area that no one is permitted to use i'll get off it it's not hang on maybe if i knock a penny off yeah all right i bet that'll work for them yeah because they're stupid yeah they go oh no it's it's clearly less expensive bing bing bong go all right hang on i'm doing a, a special discount for a tuesday uh, right 6.999 wouldn't allow the third slap him what are you looking for i couldn't find a panzati pasta well we don't sell it oh dear i i just it's a rich people shop and if you want to make out like you are rich then you shop from here even though it's exactly the same product as you would get in a non-rich people shop Gonna go, oh no, I only I only shop in rich people shop. Yeah, two right. Uh now tell that to your three Instagram followers. Uh twelve twelve point what? Cat two. Wicked. Hello, bruv. Yeah. Yeah. See, you couldn't afford the water, but you went like, oh stuff it, I'll have a sugar sandwich instead. Nineteen point what? Cat one. Okay. Ah, uh, stop complaining. Yeah. The bread is clearly underpriced. I think that much is evident. You, look, you've got 88 quid left. Why don't you grab yourself four bottles of water and we'll call it even? No? All right. Okay, fine. Uh, we got eight. Uh, yeah. Uh, 70, I can't be bothered with the 74. There you go. All right. Have it. Lovely. Perfect. Uh, 6.99. Fabu goods yeah 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 nice you want 8874 bum, 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 bum. good yeah you see i can afford to eat a little bit of my margin in order to speed up the transaction process obviously i could price everything to the nearest dollar which would be fine and adequate and so forth but i'm not going to do that eight yeah five six seven eight and near enough two bottles for you yeah and you've given you, what's everybody doing where'd you get all the has the flipping money printer just finished a run or something 50 yeah you find your only point jump fine and good chalky picks money you want two yeah obviously you weren't in the line for the uh for the brucey bonus of the uh, of the extra services uh, of the money printer uh, yeah 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 good right he's come in for his cereal come on be the first person to buy it someone's gonna buy it one of you's gonna buy it you know you're going to buy it you know you are going to buy it you know you just go away uh right what time is it it's 9 p.m all right last customers of the day please go on go on no no you thought you were a hero but you weren't you were just another cheapoid she she's gonna do it no she's not someone will there'll come a time they'll go you know what i really really need water right now or i might die from dehydration yeah what happens what happens to the road cheese the next day we're going to find out oh yeah right good okay what's the uh, next objective purchase a new section oh how much is that gonna run me uh talk to management growth presumably section two is 350 notes expand it by four meters squared oh okay sell the boxes oh, i mentioned it earlier pete anyone who's moving house ten or a box piece of cake customization coming soon storage is locked hiring cashier number one please uh daily wage of 80 quid well that's pretty much all my salary i've got to get to store level 10 right stop mucking about let's let's escalate our store expansion premises overhaul uh acceleration yeah all right let's uh let's remove just a little bit of the uh, the surplus right 
Okay, yeah. Has that got it? Yeah, pretty much. All right, cool. Do you want to place an order for the morning? I'll place the order for the morning in the morning. Right, you are. <clears throat> okay. Products found too expensive? Some. That's okay. I can live with that. Uh, upgrade cost of 200 quid. That was a fridge, so it's fine. All right. Market price are changing for eggs. Ah, good. Hey. Cheese is being seasoned nicely. There you go. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Right. And then let's leave this out with the neighbour's rubbish. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not going to fold the boxes down because that way they can be used as boxes. You see, if you fold them down, someone's just going to put them in a flipping bin. Uh, right. If the cheese is too expensive, I'll decrease the price of cheese. Because I have got quite a lot of it, I would like to sell some. So let's see how they feel about $6.19. Uh, I still turn a halfway decent profit. Um, but not in a not to such an extent that I feel dirty for having done so. Right, what are we going to need? Bread? Yeah, I think we're not charging enough for bread. Okay, uh, let's go 5.93 extra 30p on bread yeah yeah that'll keep it in uh you're probably going to need some more oil yeah probably sugar we're good chalky picks we're probably good yeah okay yeah so what we want uh bread and oil you sure yeah 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 bread bread and oil okay give me two boxes of bread please thank you and uh, i'll take uh, a box of oil thank you very much and then uh, i'll also because I'm feeling like expanding the range a little bit. Have you got any shelves left? Hmm. Hey. Yeah. I, mm, just tricky. Ah, now. Well, what if you go for stuff with a higher unit price that you can you could buy coffee? You know I'm going to sell coffee at a price that no one's going to touch. And I'm already doing that with bottled water. Uh, yeah. What's the next? What's the next license on the license thing, bruv? That'll do for product for today. Uh, management licenses. Okay, we've got peanut butter, flour, olive oil, pasta, rice, and salt. Yeah, okay. You've got, uh, I know you've got to get to the store level as well. Oh no, that's silly. You should be allowed to do it at whatever level you like. Oh, I've inhaled cat hair. <coughs> Jeffy, it's time for you to Oscar Mike some. There you go. I'll see you in an hour-ish. Yeah, good cat. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, no, no, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't jump the thing. I've got to get to the right store level before. Oh, I've got to pay bills. Hang on. How much do you want? Four quid. All right. Done it. Done it. Rent. Oh yeah, I'll pay that. Rent. Oh flipping heck. Rent. Yeah. Rent. Oh, I'll be cleaned out by the man. Ah, oh, I'm being absolutely burgled by the system. It's keeping the honest small business owner down. Yeah, I know they're, they're crushing us so the multinationals can just come in and uh, and take it all for themselves. Well, my tax dollars are going to pay for that to be cleaned up. Right, stack stack the bread on. Yeah, bread stack. Yeah, stacked. Right. Yeah, no, I'm paying for it. You can flip and sort it out. I shouldn't have to do it all myself. Uh, yeah, I've got some shelf space here as well. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right, golden. Uh, are we open? We will be. All right, let's roll. <sighs> okay, good. Yeah, nicely. Um, good. Someone asked about pasta. They can continue asking about pasta. If they want pasta, they need only buy oil and bread, and uh, and they can they can reconstitute it into something that is a pasta simulation, and they'll have a lovely time in doing so. I'm sure of it. Good. Have we got any customers yet? No. Oi, you buy cheese, 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 cheese for you. So maybe I need a product demonstration. Excuse me. I don't, look. Mmm. Smell it, sir. Smell it. It's been maturing. It has. Uh, okay. All right. Please yourself. Yeah. What about you, big lad? No. All right. Fine. Oi, oi, Savaloy. Uh, right. 
Thank you very much. Uh, 11.98. Thank you for coming. Love to see you. Uh, right. Borle milk. Is that pig's milk? Yeah, probably. Uh, you want four bucks and two. One, two, three, four, and one, two. I'm not overchanging people today. No. The man keeps taking all my money. Oi, are you shop 50? She just nicked something. She's got it hidden up her frock somewhere. Yeah. Uh, give those edgy slum kids internships. Now you're thinking. Yeah, no, that's that's the way to rule. Certainly is. Uh, more faffing with boxes. Wouldn't it be faster to put them in the trash? Are you... Old paint, you are not new here. Honestly, I'm obviously I'm going to faff about with stuff because it's a game. I'm trying to find it. It's not too expensive. I've just reduced the price. Pull yourselves together and pay up. I'll just take some bread. Now, I'm clearly undercharging for bread. Otherwise, they would be complaining more frequently. 94, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. Okay. Two bottles of oil for you. Okay. 11. Dot nine eight. Okay. <sighs> What's behind the locked door? Shaking Stevens. Yeah. The cheese is not too expensive. And this is the sacred cashier's area. There. God, just I honestly. Uh, he knows what's what. I want a cheese sandwich. Uh, but the cheese is expensive. Fine, I'll have a sandwich. Nice. I, I said I'll make sandwiches for all the lads. And uh, they'll be right pleased. I asked them what they wanted. They all said cheese. One of them said sugar. But it, I, I told him it was a Muppet. Yeah. Uh, it's just flipping. Yeah. D and done right. This is done right. I'm having a lovely time. Yeah. I've got a box stack that is almost to the ceiling. Ooh. Waiting for the store to get robbed. I know. I don't know what the countermeasures are going to be. That's the thing. And also, if they were to come in and then steal something, and then having walked past the cheese, then clearly the criminals in this town are, uh, you know, dumb as a sack of rocks. Hello? Yeah. See, if I were to price slightly more aggressively, then you know, that was money. Oh, right. And you don't need any change. What are you waiting for? You don't need my permission to leave the shop. <clears throat> which is clearly why we're not getting burglarised. Right now, the player agency is in choosing products and prices and what to do with the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too expensive. Oh, I bought so much cheese. Yeah. I, I bought so much cheese, I'm storing some of it in the road. Go away. All right, fine. I'm going to knock the price of cheese down again. Flipping. I can't, I can't sit on inventory that is not at least slightly working for me. Five ninety nine. I can't say fairer than that, because that's already fair, and fairer would be wrong. Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Five ninety nine. Okay. Go get out. Yeah. Where are you going? You violated the sacred cashiers area. This is where I should be putting my boxes, so they can't just move through them. Yeah. The cheese is certainly not to expect. You're a shame. You're a shame to your tribe and caste. Or whatever. Died. I'm speechless. I have, I have slashed the price of cheese. And yet still. Put the boxes in the, in, in the doorway. I don't need to. I know exactly what's going to happen. They'll just walk through them. That's it, right. No, it's get out! Come on! Just, have I got a broom? Just flipping slap him with the broom. Have you bought cheese? No. I'm going to broom my own. Out of, uh, out of foot oil? Lovely. Uh, yeah, what do you want? Oh, change. Clear off. Uh, all right, okay. The market price is 3.42. Yeah. 5.99 is very reasonable here in WH Smith's. Uh, five fifty-nine. But I'm, you know, I'm cutting my own nose off to uh, to sell you that price. Yeah. Just.
I don't like you, sir and or madam. Although you are buying two boxes of sugary goodness. So you have you have a discerning palate at least. Alright, okay. Thirteen dot nine eight. There you go. Good. Uh, Brennan stuck two quid in the bucket. Thank you, Brennan. Uh, late tax, still not enough for cheese. I know. I know. But, I mean, yeah. Yeah, cereal sandwich for you, sir. Yes, uh, that's an excellent adult palette right there. 15p. Bye-bye. Oily sugar. Love it. Uh, quid and three. Very nice. Bread. Yeah, I'm not charging enough for bread. Four and seven. Go. All right. We what are we doing? Changing the price of bread. Ah, okay. How much is a loaf of bread? It's five ninety three. You're already making a honking great markup on this. Actually, I'm only making a quid markup on it. All right. Let's go uh, six fifty. Nice. Yeah, that feels that feels appropriate. Uh, hello, sir and or madam. Yeah. Uh, and Lapierre's oil is not too expensive because he just bought two two bottles. He's probably going to put it in his car. It's still cheaper than petrol. Uh, eight and two p. Uh, okay. Thank you. Come again soon. Yeah. Well, who will be the first brave and bold and beautiful cheese purchaser? Will it be you, madam? Buy the cheese. Buy the cheese. Oh, the, the, the sugar's too expensive for you. You're not going to buy anything else. I, I can't find eggs. No. Try the road. Uh, just. Yeah, I'm simulating inflation from three years from now. That's all. I'm giving you tomorrow's prices today. I'm going on a little journey. Not nope, only as far as the pedestrian crossing, though. You done? Oh, no, no. There we go. I can't ride on, unfortunately, but I, I ought to get back, at least in the vicinity of my shop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Finish the day. All right, 200 quid. Market price is the price in the other shops, not the order price. Yeah, I know. I know. It's the average price that it's being sold elsewhere. Right? By idiots who don't know how to price things correctly. There you go. Right. Um, yeah. All right. What do we need to restock? Well, we could probably reorder the sugar. Yeah, can you? Uh, carry hold. That's the entire shelf. Oh, okay. Yeah, put the entire shelf down here. Yeah. Place it. Place it. Place it. All right. Fine. Put it back where it was, except slightly further forward. That'll make people feel awkward about themselves. Maybe you've got to wait until you're out of... Yeah, you've got to wait until you're out of stock. Okay. Well, we could put something else on, on display. Yeah. I mean, you got some bread left. What have you got in here? Bread. Ah, good. Yep. Yeah, good. Right. Okay. Yeah, and then this is what? That's oil. Ah, good. Right, stick that on there. Yep. And whoop. Uh, yes. Right, 200 quid, and I need to save up enough to buy a new section in order to push my objective, uh, objectiveometer a little further forwards. So, let's go to the market. I don't want to stock any of this stuff. Don't want, I don't want to sell it. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to sell it. I, I would feel dirty for selling it, particularly coffee. It would just... I would feel shame. Flour's good, though. Flour's good, though. Yeah. It's cheap as well. It is. Well, it is as far as I'm concerned. Uh, as far as the punters, though, they may not agree. Uh, give me one of those. Give me one of these. Give me one of those. All right. And give me one of these. Okay. Good. Right. Order it. Yeah. Stock ordered. Marvellous. Uh, 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 un fromage artisan, s'il vous plaît. See? It's not so hard to order. No, it's, uh, it's dead easy. Right, flour. Bang it on the top shelf. Mustn't let the kiddies get at it, after all. No. Yeah. All right, what are you going to flog the cheese at? 
And it goes at, it's not cheese, it's flat. Oh yeah, 371 is the market price. It's not, it's gonna be uh, seven quid. You're never gonna sell it at seven quid. All right, we're gonna go, uh, I mean, you make three quid a pun it. Yeah, I know, but that's not the point. The point is that the pricing must be egregious. 488, which will also allow you to travel back in time. Okay, yeah, what's in this one? That's more flour. Okay, yeah, leave that there for later. All right, that's breads. Breads, yeah. Oh, more space for breads, that's good. No more space back there. No, no. All right, put that in the re up stock. Uh, yes. Uh, Bongo Bread is a lost leader. Only 2.5 markup. I know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it gets people in that are full. Right, yeah, you, you probably bought too much flour. Yeah, but I've priced it aggressively. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in the same way as being held up at knife point is quite aggressive. Oh, I see. Okay, fine. Uh, what else? What's left? Nothing. I thought there was one left. You might have kicked it into there's some there's some wheel. Okay, right. It puts the wheel on the shelf. Alright. This is also people, customers, this is gonna be your last chance to get things at uh here's some loose change prices because I'm gonna start pricing everything rounded off to save me time on monkeying with the register. Yeah, I know. I'm sapping all the joy out of my own life. Anyway, let's get her open. There you go. All right. Yeah, she's rolling. She's cooking now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who's first in? Buy some flipping cheese. If I have to drop the price of cheese again, then I'm not going to be pleased with the cheese. Yeah. I wonder if I can send the cheese on a little journey by strapping it to the top of a car. Something to experiment with. Anyway, what's she into? Oh, for crying out loud. Can't afford sugar. Uh, can't afford bread. Uh, I can't afford chocolate picks. Uh, well, it's 20 past nine in the morning. I mean, you know, obviously your gyro won't stretch that far. But you shouldn't be shopping somewhere artisan then. Aldi's just around the corner. Go there. You're not going to get bang for buck in here. This is the shop you go to for bragging rights. You'll never guess where I shopped. Where did you shop? I shopped at Artisanal Food Shop. Oh, is the food better? No, arguably it's worse. Uh, but it's more expensive. Oh, you really must be living the high life. I am. The only thing that's reliably selling is oil. By the cheese. <laughs> Just. Come on, you know you want... You'd got fried cheese in mind when you came in. And now you're leaving without the fried cheese. Here's a discerning customer. Yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Triple cereal threat going on right there. You big special love. Go on. Off your trundle. Have a good one. Yeah. Beautiful. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You love the way that the uh, the customers simulate you in the shop so so beautifully. Yeah, she goes to the top shelf because she she prefers it dusty. There you go, uh, one one uh, dot nine eight. Yeah. Hello there, me old mucker. Box of cereal. Don't mind if I do. And you want a penny? Happy to give it to you. Off your trundle. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? If I could go and ram raid Tesco, I could get some cheap stock in and I could pass those savings on to the punters. Oh, you want 50p? Go on, clear off. All right, yeah. All right, cheese. Yeah, here we go again. Cheese, what a disgusting product offering. Five quid. All right, it's a fiver. Better not get any arguments. I'm going to write it on the special chalkboard outside. Cheese, a fiver? Have we lost our tiny minds? Oh, my God. We'll be out of business in no time if we don't charge a bit more for cheese. Thank you, sir and or madam. Uh, 94 quid change. Why don't you just buy some more stuff? Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, and you, this and that. 
I just want a bit of this and that. Yeah, the new uh, bread pricing appears to be working. I'm not sure I did. That's 1,300 quid. Oh, yeah, yeah, decimal point. Yeah. I could try sting him for 1,300 quid. I don't think it'll go for it somehow, though. Uh, you want a quid? Okay, yeah, good. I mean, the money's coming in slowly because obviously I'm making a serious markup for serious people. What's my hygiene rating? Look at the boxes. Oh, yeah. That's how hygienic I am. I put down boxes, you know, because they don't spread salmonella. No, no. Or COVID. And therefore, our hygiene rating is off the chuffing charts. Yeah, there you go. You both shop at the same clothes shop, don't you? And hairdressers. Anyway, enjoy your sugar. Uh, three and a penny. Ta-ta! Uh, all, all they do is complain about the prices. Yeah, I know. And then don't buy anything. You're allowed to complain about the prices all day as long as you buy it afterwards. Yeah. What are you looking for? No, we don't sell eggs. It says very clearly in the window, no eggs. See, there's the N, there's the O, there's the E. That's a G, but it didn't come out right. <clears throat> so you just have to use, the, uh, use your imagination a little bit. She's bought some flour. This might be our first flour purchase of the day. Oh, yeah. What are you cooking? None of your business. I've got some product I need to cut when I get home, and this will do nicely. Unless you've got baby laxative. I don't. Sorry. No. Okay, you can't afford flour. You can't afford water. Well, your pancakes are going to be rubbish then, aren't they? Yeah. Sorry, kids. No pancakes for you. Mommy's skint. Yeah. Just. Yeah. <sighs> All the game needs is cats to live in the boxes outside. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. Eileen needed a comment approving. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. And here he goes. This is a man who wants cheese. No. I just wanted some water. You can't have any. Uh, right. Not unless you pay for it. If you want if you want to pay for it, you can have as much as you want. I'll have two boxes of sugar, please. Alright, there you go. Thirteen and the ninety-eight. And off you trot. You know, I'm gonna turn lights on, see if it encourages more customers into the, the establishment. Hey. No, listen. Listen. Go back and look at the cheese again. It's not too expensive. It just isn't. I have cut the price four times. It's now... I mean, I've shaved an awful lot of money off the price of cheese. Look, look, I'll, I'll show you. Look, come here. No, look, come here. Oi. Che the cheese price is well within your, uh, your budget for the week to feed a family of three. Yeah, no, look, I know you're sad about it, uh, that you were going to save that extra 17p for, I don't know what, uh, but then you've you've saved 17p, but you don't have any cheese. Hmm? Whereas for 17p more, you've got cheese. Now, I'll stuff you then. Gimme, yeah, and you're paying on cards, are you flipping? Don't you carry cash? Hello? Sugar sandwich, please. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You're, you're, you're a good customer. You're fine. Yeah. Buy some water next time. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not too expensive. It is perfectly well-priced. It is competitive within the marketplace. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm making my own bread. Ron's is too pricey. Yeah, well, I mean, if that pleases you. What? You want to put your... What do you want? Uh, you want me to charge you. All right. You into it? No, not quite. All right. Okay, we'll try something else then. Uh, 12, fine. There's your 87. Done. Okay. Fine. Guess I'm cutting the price of cheese again. Hold on, madam. I'm cutting the price of cheese again. Uh, right. We're going to go for 4 95 Try that on next time. There you go. 4 95 I've taken 5p off bargain i mean i'm barely i'm barely breaking even at this point barely you want 350 one two three and some 50s yeah 
So cards really should pack up. Um, yeah. Uh, the customers want you to cut the cheese. I think it's pre-sliced. I think they are just, you know, take them out, peel off some extra plastic. But, I mean, how do you know with that American cheese when you finish peeling off the plastic and when you've reached the cheese? Because it's the same consistency. Because what it isn't is cheese. No. Simulated cheese? Possibly. I could get behind it being a, a simulation of cheese. But it's not cheese. No. Cheese comes from La France or Cornwall. Right. Okay. Yeah, or Cheshire, yeah. Gloucester, yeah, you're allowed that. Uh, Cheddar Gorge, obviously. That's where they make it. Yeah, they've got a big cheese brewery in Wookie Hole. Uh, right, start of the next day. I should probably pay some bills. Whatever. Yeah, the market changes, prices are changing. Yeah, that's somebody else's problem. Bills, 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 bills. 200 quid in the bank. What do I need to buy this next hole? 350 quid. I've got to shift some stuff. All right. Agro price the cheese. We're going to do a special on cheese for the cheese eaters. All right. 342 is the market price. 4.40. Oh, I hate myself. You should. You should. That's disgusting capitalism going on right there. Uh, right. I'm going to need some. Uh, I don't need anything. I don't think. No, you've got loads of stock. All right, all right. Today's a stock clear day. All right, be ready to stock up on cheese. It's going to go like it's on fire. Do people like their cheese on fire? Yes, they do. Uh, right, here we go. It's going to be a stampede of people. They will have heard about our cheese prices, and they will be hurdling one another. Uh, someone will get pushed into the boxes in order to cheese themselves. It's real good. Any second, there's going to be a massive, massive cheese rush. Here he comes. Here he goes. Here he is. Yeah, he's got the flour. He's got the sugar. Yeah, just needs the cheese. Cheese? You forget the cheese? No. Oh, more for you. You bought flour at least, and I can forgive that. Uh, yep, yeah. Yeah, and uh, and a ten and a three. Bye-bye. Okay, well, you know, that's money. It is some money. But Wednesday, though, Wednesday was adequate. It's not, it's just not special. And I think that's the joke, is that it is such a benign cheese, uh, is why Wallace digs it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here she comes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll have some bread. Love it. Good. Yeah, I couldn't afford the sugar, though, so you've just got oily bread as a as a goer. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to you have to make concessions where you have to make them. That's what I say. Which is why I've cut the price of cheese. I've slashed the cheese. Oh, don't fight over it. Uh, you, you'll, you'll be fighting. Oh, we're almost out of flour. Crikey, she's, she's double banging the flour. Buy some cheese, son. Buy some cheese. Buy some cheese. No. What have you bought? Two flours, two sugars. Okay, making a cake. Uh, six, yeah, 26. Uh, 25, 26. Ta-ta. Two breads, two flours, and a chalky picks. You can come frequently there, lady. I mean, that's, uh, that's the kind of purchase that is actually meaningful. Good work flour not cheese you sure it's inexpensive you sir uh, he's gone uh, i can't believe it i must double cheese immediately I, I, and you want 91 quid change yeah no there's nothing there's nothing special about this sale of cheese no because i have ripped myself off in selling it to you at such a stupid price yeah what's he gone Double chalky picks. He's a discerning gentleman. Uh, and that's what... I mean, he'll be entertaining later tonight. He'll have a little martini glass filled with chalky picks. Yeah. What do you need? Oh, you've got to re-up the flour. Uh, I think I've got a box of it here. Here you go. All right. All right, good. Throw it at him. Yeah. 
Good. Ding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two sugars, two cheese, two... No, that's two flour and two oil. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, clearly the urban militia have got an important uh, party coming up where they're going to be outside and uh, they need they need all the provisions. Uh, they think the end times are coming. Well, they always think the end times are coming. That's their that's their recruiting uh, recruiting methodology. Here she goes. No. You're in the wrong shop. All right. What else? Do I, I need to. What have you got left here? You've got some bread. Okay. All right. Good. Yep. Uh, yeah. What's this? Empty. All right. And you? Uh, cheese. You surprise me. Uh, okay. Oh, you can restock it, though. Oh, great. Yeah, and you? Flash. Uh, have I got any flash space? you got a little bit of flash space. All right. Yeah. Chuck it in the wall. Lands on the floor. Here they come. Here they come. The, the cheese people are in. It's 4 p.m. It's time to get your cheese on. No, it's, it's not time to get your cheese on. Oh, she's come back for the sugary fruits that she couldn't afford yesterday. Well done. You've deserved it. Yeah. That's, ah, you've cleared that shelf for me. Thank you. I should almost give you a discount. I say almost, but I'm not going to. Go. Flour. You mean business, don't you, bruv? Someone sent you out for some... some. It just said, go and get some white powder, would you, Dave? He went, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, it comes back with a bag of flour. You kind of go, flipping it, Dave. This is why we never invite you. You're just not cool, man. Yeah. And Dave goes, I'm fine with not being cool. I'm your boss. I get paid a lot more than you do. <sighs> Hello. Uh, nervous looking gentleman. Yeah. Uh, one, one, go. Yeah, looking at the fridge, smelling the cheese. There he is. He's into it. He's feeling it. He's going, yes, ruddy cheese time. Is it a bottle of water, though? No, couldn't be that lucky. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Well done. I think you just set the high score for purchase so far, sir and or madam. Well done. She's gone cheesy because she knows what's what in the place to be. Uh, 50 and 60 and a penny. There you go. Right, breads, flour. Yeah, the flour's going well, I notice. That's, uh, that, that's good. It is good. Uh, right, cheese. Yeah, re-cheese. Are we going to... Yeah, let's let the top stack... Hold on. No, don't shake your head at me, lady. Get out. Yeah. No, no, no just... Yeah. What? Oil. All right. Okay, yeah. I'm a, don't make me occupy your shop. Your chalky picks is too expensive. It's not too expensive for anybody else, though. They all come in and they're chalky picks off their faces. And also, chalky picks is cheaper than that sugary bad boy that you just picked up. So I don't know what's going on in your life, mate. But obviously, basic arithmetic is not something with which you are eerily familiar. Yeah, have some, get some, get gone. Right, flour, flour, bread, bread. And plastic, right. 17.88. 35 quid or thereabouts. That's what we're looking for as our record-breaking sales target number effigy. Uh, 1686. You're not getting it. No. You're not a record-breaking customer. No. <clears throat> He's gone flat. He can't afford the cereal. Uh, cheese, 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 cheese. Cheese! Yes! Alright. And he wanted water as well, but he's too tight-fisted. Thank you. 32p. Alright, All right. I'll put some more tens in there as well. Super. All right. Well, that was that was a successful day on the, uh, on the front lines of commerce. Yeah. Alright. Fling that out in the strasser. Uh, right, what's this? Is it cheese? No, I think that's scenery. Oh, what's, what's that? That's rubbish. That's rubbish. There's my cheese boxes, apart from the ones that are being seasoned. All right, throw that over there. All right, you're being seasoned. Let's put you inside. You're already. You've brewed nicely. 
and uh, and are ready to serve up to a clientele who, who richly deserve it. I think there's another one under here. That's already moved it. Well, if it is under there, it can season yet further. Uh, right, finish the old day. Lovely. Is there anything else to this game, or is this everything? I don't know. We're going to unlock a bit more, and we'll find out. Uh, here we go. Rent a 40 quid. Yeah, just... Ugh. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's on? What's on the? Uh, what's on the agenda items then? Section two, got him. Let's have a look then. Uh, ah, section two is just more of section one. Roger that. Okay, pick her up. Yep. Take her to the shop edge back corner. Yeah. Pick her up. Yeah. Take her to the shop edge back corner. Yeah. This placement system's pretty good. It is. Although we're gonna we're gonna need to try some rotation. Here we go. Let's try some rotation. Yeah. All right. And yeah. No, it's good. I approve it. It's it gets this. It gets the the uh, thumbs up of yeah yeah. This works. It's good. Uh, yeah. Right. Now you probably want some product. Sugar. Yeah. Uh, Chalky picks. We can wait until those three shelves have cleared. Uh, breads, we can clear those. Oil, we're good. I think we can go without re-upping, at least in the short term. Although, flour was going quite well yesterday. So, I will buy three more boxes of flour and call that it for that. Hang on. No, everybody wants eggs. What do you need me to put them? In the fridge. You don't put eggs in the fridge, though. No. No, you leave them at room temperature. The eggs should be stored at room temperature and not in the fridge just so you're aware you ignoramai uh, milk goes in the fridge tea all right i'm buying tea yeah you know what? i'll have two uh, well I'll just buy another one there you go yeah we're going with tea going with tea we're going to try and get the basket value up you see uh let's have it right, good good and good yeah yeah all right. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop mucking about quite so much, and we're gonna try and aggressively sell through, so that we can get to the point of unlocking as much as possible. All right. So the first half of the show, all right, was all about ha 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 fun times. Right. Second half of the show is aggressively selling things at a price that is aggressively selling things. It's five seventy eight as the standard market price. This can go at six ninety nine. It's the same as a box of cereal. And that's a bargain. Right, what are you? More of the same. Then it can wait. Alright, put it in the re-up zone. Putting it in the re-up zone. And then you've got nothing but flour. Okay, alright. Right, now, what were people griping about? Water. Yeah, well, they're, they're tough. Right. What else were they griping about? The sugar snacks they sell. Sure you don't want to price anything else down? Just the water. You know what? Let's free up the fridge. But no, you don't don't kill the joke. The joke's good. It's never gonna sell though. Um market price is 235. Alright, we'll go two and uh, ninety-five on that. And then just sell it through. I don't care. Just I want to put something else in the fridge. Uh yeah. And at the wall. At the wall. There you are. This go and sit with the cheese. Alright, this is my outdoor storage space. Right, good. Yeah, aggressively priced in order for maximum sell-through. You might need some more bread. Aggressively priced. Maximum sell-through. Let's aggressively pricingly sell-through massively. Here we go. I think Big Ambitions is better. Big Ambitions is certainly broader at the moment. World of Pants. World of Pants was broader than this as well. Uh, I really enjoyed what... World of Pants was this, only much jankier, but with a much broader uh, suite of bits and pieces that you could do with stuff. Right. Hello, bruv. Alright, good. Go. Yeah, card me. Let's have it. Uh, 976. Nine Barely worth selling him anything for a tenner. Ugh. Yeah, I know. What's this? One packet of cheese, please. Oh, God, you're going to be popular with your friends, aren't you? 4.4. 4. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oil. Yeah. 
Chalky picks, nice. More chalky picks, yeah. Bottle of water! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay. I've got a new plan. Bottle of water was how much? Uh, 2.95. Okay. Alright, stick it in. 24.92. Okay, good. Get out of here quickly. Get over here. Alright, it is now going to be three quid. Okay. I'm going to take I'm going to take them for absolutely the most I can. Oh, this is a big order. 40 quid. Oh, yeah. Skull light bulb t-shirt gets it. Hush, Jeff. Um yeah, he's he's making it happen. Yeah. Give me a beep boop ba boop. Beep boop ba boop. There you go. Good price. Good price. Good price. Good price. Uh, what would I rate this game on the subjective review ometer? Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't finished it. See, normally, for to do a subjective review, I'll play through like five or six hours first tea sale. Nice. Uh, and then, you know, I make a make a call based on that. Which is why the review ometer is all important, right? Because I don't change it at the end. It's wherever it's settled by the time I've finished. So if I had if I've had more things that have turned me off that have turned me on over the course of the game. Um, no, you've, you've got that wrong. Put put the money back. All right. Okay. That way. Yeah. There you go. You can't afford the cheese. The cheese is, the, the cheese is competitively priced, madam. You, you'll be fine. But uh, I guess it's not for you. So, yeah. So, if I've had more turn-offs than turn-ons over the course of the playthrough, there it is. But it takes five or six hours of me just pootling away, doing all of this grindy business, which is why I'm, I'm, you know, I'm behaving myself on the pricing a little bit more, uh, in order to see more of the game. Because as it stands, we won't be back for week two. No, what are you, 976? Where's the nine? Where's the seven? Yeah, and a six. All right. He knows, he knows it's about that time, you see. Yeah. Don't you? You know it's about that time. Oh, you almost got the cat shot there. But it was not to be. Short on flower. Okay. Cool. Right. Yeah. Anything else? No, we're good. On The bread's fine. The bread's fine. People buy the bread. If they didn't buy the bread, then it would be too expensive. But that some people... Are finding it accept there you go she's bought it at three stop knocking the microphone you yeah yeah all right every time someone buys it it goes up by 5p all right let's go right and 3.05 there we go i'm gonna maximize my pricing uh, right oh a uh, man from the Secret Service is here. He's come to get some supplies while they're on a stakeout. Lovely. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. And he's gone for it. He doesn't like the cheese price. He's not into it on the cheese price. He's wrong. He's not into it on the sugary cereal price. He's still wrong. Okay. Chalky picks for you, sir. Nice. Uh, you want 92 quid change. You just came in for change, didn't you? And you went, oh, I've got to buy something in order to get some change. There you go. Well, given that I've got infinite change, it doesn't bother me particularly. So, you know, so that's good. For us, anyway. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Boink. Spoink. Boink. Six. Dot. Nine. Nine. And... Lovely. If a game is worth it, is whether I can get an hour of enjoyment game for every euro. That's the way to look at things. If you have enough, there is a there's a there's a cost to uh, to enjoyment kind of measurement going on in there. Um, I mean, how much did I pay? I paid, I think, fifteen quid. No, twelve quid. I think I spent twelve quid to go see June, which is a three-hour movie. Now, don't get me wrong. June is an exceptional three-hour movie, um, but that's you know that's four or five quid an hour, uh, and you go, Ooh, okay, and you kind of go, yeah, no, games aren't priced at the same at the same rate. 
games have got to be way more enjoyable than a movie. You kind of go, well, how's that? For I've sat through some absolute... Crikey, the number of Marvel movies I've sat through where I've just kind of gone, goodness me, that was forgettable. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to bother storing that one in short-term memory. There's just no point to it. Uh, it's dreadful. That's possibly why I've stopped going to watch Marvel movies. But, I mean, yeah, no. Games have always been penalised with, uh, with games players anticipating she's bought water. Ah, foolish lady. You have ruined it for everybody else. All right, okay. Water goes up. Yeah. 310. That's 310. 310. I will get my profit margin spot on for water before you know it. Turn the lights on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, good. What type of cat is Jeff? Deaf. Yeah. Yeah. Is is deaf. That's that's the type of cat. And white. He's a deaf white cat with eyes that are two different colours, and uh, and he is a former stray, because he was slung out for being deaf and therefore very very loud, and uh, and he was rescued because he'd taken to lying in the road. I know why he lies in the road. I mean, firstly, he's oblivious to the fact that it's rather dangerous, um, uh, but moreover, the sun heats the road up uh, really rather nicely, so it provides a nice warm place for him to be. It's true. He sleeps on, in the summer, he, he sleeps on my neighbour's roof. Because she's got a flat, flat roof. Dune already had a movie, it was horrendous. No, you're wrong. Uh, the existing Dune movie was great. The new Dune movies are great, great. Oh, oh yeah. And the, the the changes in the new one that they've made to the story, I approve. I approve the changes because they're they're well thought out and they actually advance the story. You stop watching most Marvel movies after Infinity War. It doesn't count if it's most Marvel movies. That applies you still watch some of them. <clears throat> yeah. Current ones visually spectacular, technically brilliant, lacking in plot. Not June. No. The Dunes 1 and 2 I, I just recommend if you haven't seen the sequel yet but you have seen the first one don't watch the first one again before going to see the sequel don't part of the reason that in the cinema you were so blown away after seeing the first one was the visual and audio impact of the thing it was unlike anything else you'd come across and you just kind of go flaming heck that's a bit special because uh, I had that after watching The Arrival which was just I would I have my mind well and truly you know ignited by watching the arrival um so uh, so June was was tremendous yeah you've still got 80s June on VHS good quality uh yeah I'd love to see David Lynch actually do June rather than have it um have it dictated to him somewhat by his by his producer the production company yeah the old June movie was abysmal no you're wrong no, you're totally wrong. It was all we had. It was the only thing we had. And weirding modules, as much as they're not in the books, are cool. Very cool. And the production design was brilliant. And, uh, oh, I can't remember the cast name. Big Ed. Uh, yeah, Big Ed was fantastic. So I've been on. I, 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 I refer everything back to Twin Peaks wherever possible. Uh, cracking sound. Yeah, you see. I thought, I had a feeling when watching the first one that, that, uh, that they were going to do a callback to the prophecy theme from the original because that would have been so cool if they'd have actually grabbed the prophecy theme and worked it into the soundtrack, but no. Because the prophecy theme was spot on. They used it a little bit too much. Yeah. How do games fit into the wider media landscape? They don't. Yeah. They're, 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 I mean, they're, they're all part of the mix. They're all just a means of people amusing themselves. Right. I am going to go and feed this cat and open the window because it's hot in here. Uh, we'll come back and do the weather because uh, we'll do the weather while I'm still flogging stuff to unsuspecting punters. And uh, and that'll be, that'll be nice. I shall leave you watching the Strasser and the comings and goings of the people therein. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, it is nice. Yeah, so, you know... Warm yourselves up. No, you've, you cat, don't knock the mouse. I'm about to feed you. 
Yeah, I know, but it's cats and mouses.
Thank you, Tim. Ooh, it's warm in here. Oh, <laughs> just a bit. Yeah, it's 26 degrees, see, because the heating is still a thing. Downstairs in this house never gets very warm because we've got big glass doors that cool the entire downstairs. Hopeless in winter. Uh, and the thermostat's down there, so you, you, you crank it up, and I've got the radiator on too high because we're in that, that interstitial period here now where it's not quite warmed up sufficiently that the, the heating is no longer required, but it's not, and the rest, anyway, yeah, I mean, it's not that interesting, I just thought I'd share the love. Uh, Tim says it's 9 degrees in Bristol, it's 27 cloudy in Tapaheen in Thailand, uh, Malta is 16 and clear, uh, and then I scrolled and then I, did, I doubted myself. Groningen is uh, 5 and partly cloudy, 20 and uh, with the top of 28 in the Blue Mountains of New South Wales. Uh, sunny 24 and dry, uh, enough to crack your windpipe just outside Denver in Colorado. Uh, 28 Celsius, sunny with a top of 39 in Melbourne. Uh, it's uh, the middle of a three-day heat wave, 39, yeah, I should say so. Seven and cloudy in the Yorkshire coast, six and supposedly cloudy in Steenwijk. Um, you can't check though, because it's dark outside. Four in Penniston, it is eight and partly cloudy in Pilsen. 16 partly cloudy in Funchal, Madeira. Uh, Madeira. Oh, okay. Uh, Charles in Spain. It's been raining all day, uh, which is great if you live off the grid. Uh, tomorrow's 18 in showers. Uh, sunny, 17 in Timor, New Zealand. Uh, Oldham is six and cloudy. Nothing else to report. 16 in Perth. Uh, heading to maximum of 29 today. Sunny and windy. Uh, it's raining and cold in your neck of the woods of the USA. That's quite broad, Eduardo. Um, Bridge End in South Wales is 10 with mild rain. 8 and foggy in Brinsley in Nottingham. Uh, raining at 6 in Ottawa. 16 in Auckland in New Zealand at 11am. Uh, partly cloudy, 7 degrees in Kildare. 9 on the East Kent close, uh, coast. And it's drizzling. Uh, 4, cloudy. Uh, lambing is on the way in Berwickshire, 9 and cloudy in Newport, 65 Fahrenheit in Manteca in California, uh, 9 degrees in the real Venice of Italy, uh, 9 and a little bit cloudy in Frankfurt, it is the, at the home of the Baltimore Orioles, Australian affiliate, The Drinking, Think Again, Perth Heat. There's a sentence in there somewhere, uh, and, and so re rearrange those words and Get what you need. Uh, yeah, yeah. 43 Fahrenheit in Canal Winchester in Ohio, but it feels colder. Beer, Devon, seven and damp. You're in beer in Devon. Marvellous. Uh, 37 cloudy in Portland, Maine. Uh, and Stephen King's outside writing a new book. Seven Celsius and rainy in Turin in Italy. 40 Fahrenheit rainy in Niskayoon in New York. Uh, 23 Celsius and sunny in southern Arizona. Six in Perth, Ontario. Um, do do. Omaha, Nebraska is 10 Celsius uh, Snow yesterday, 70 Fahrenheit tomorrow though Which is going to be quite exciting It's quite pleasant uh, Lansing is 9 and cloudy uh, 7 Celsius with some clouds in Somerset West, South Africa uh, 7 cloudy in Lampeter in Wales 7 cloudy enough in Paris uh, It's overcast, rainy and 44 Fahrenheit uh, In Ohio in the USA Expecting a bit of snow. Uh, six and wind on the Isle of Butte. Uh, Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. It is 23 Celsius uh, with a high, with partly cloud in the higher 27 and a lower 21. Uh, 35 Fahrenheit and cloudy in Peshtigo, Wisconsin. 38 
Fahrenheit, sunny and windy in Cameron, Wisconsin. Uh, it is uh, 9 Celsius in Bramble Bank in the UK, 49 Fahrenheit in Maryland, and it's raining. 72 uh, Fahrenheit uh, feels like 84 uh, in San Gabriel in California. Uh, 4 Celsius and sunny in Fargo, North Dakota. It's nothing in Jut Jutland in Denmark. Uh, it is 5 Celsius in Cloudy Lynn, Lithgow. 81 Fahrenheit in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, it is Hamburg. It is 5 degrees, uh, but it's been well sunny for the past week. Fluffy Zenomorph, you need to get yourself down to Miniature Wonderland again. Because I'd, I'd be there every day if I lived in Hamburg. Uh, 64 Fahrenheit in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, it is uh, 27 Celsius, wherever the premium happens to be. The premium carries 27 Celsius wherever they go uh, it's a premium temperature for premium people no i just want i want that to disappear stop it i'll flip in youtube and uh, just no just thank you right good perth heat is our baseball team oh is it really <clears throat> um uh, 54 fahrenheit and cloudy in statesville north carolina yeah zero degrees in kung's back on the west coast of sweden 68 in lagrange Lagrange in Georgia, um, and uh, that's good. It's, and it's it's uh, and, and that's that's your lot, right? I'm going to make as much money as possible as quickly as possible. Let's rock and flame and roll. Do I need to re up? Arguably yes, because I want to get to the point that I've got staff. Because at which point I can focus on rinsing it for profit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sugar snacks. Right. Have I got room for another product range? Yes. In the fridge? No. Okay. All right. Market. Sugar snacks. Uh, two boxes? Two boxes. Yep. Okay. I've got 300 quid. Pasta? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Two boxes. Okay. Uh, right. You've got all of those. You've got all of these. Uh, you've got those apart from the one that shall not speak its name. But it, you can make such good margin off it, though. Yeah, I mean, but if I'm sensibly margining it, I can't. No, I have to. I've got to take a stand. I'm, I'm taking a stand, people. It's not happening. Uh, so I'll have one of those and uh, two of these. That I've got. Uh, I'll have one of those. Yeah. Uh, and that's 123 quid. Save the rest. Save the rest. Okay. Good. Purchase. Good. Yep. Good. Out. You could get another shelf. Don't need it. I haven't got the product range for it yet. Right. Pasta. Okay. Smooth. Right. Next. Coming in here. Uh, Mitch. Thanks for the birthday wishes for the wife on Sunday. She was duly impressed and surprised. Well, it's suppressing and surprising. No, suppressing and imprising. Yes, I like to do both. Uh, is uh, merely one of the services we provide. Thank you very much, Mitch. I appreciate that gratefully. Oh, we've got some more weather coming. Um, uh, minus four in Battlefords in Saskatchewan. Right. Uh, it was a bit foggy earlier, but I missed it. Okay. Yeah, all right. That's a, that's a four and a half out of ten joke. Is that one? There you go. You can have that. Uh, right. Yeah, we you got? Chalky picks. Okay. Top them up while we top them up. Right. And then put it in the re-up pile. Yep. Uh, pasta. Yep. Double the pasta. Double the fun. I know. I haven't priced it yet. I know. Before you all start yet. You haven't priced it yet. I, go, I will. I will. Don't worry. Um, uh, uh, oh, is it clock change weekend in the USA? It's not here. I'd know. That's the, that's the kind of thing that I pick up on, is when it's clock change weekend. But there is a, uh, a couple of weeks every year where we are... Uh, the hour the hour change is different between nations. Not all of them. I think the Americans go early or some such. I can't remember. Uh, you're going to West, uh, Eastern Daily tonight. Right. Or Eastern Daylight, rather. Right. Okay, good. Uh, price your pasta. Price your pasta. Okay, the market price is three twelve. Okay, we shall go for three dot uh, seventy five. Done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, change the price on chalky picks. Yeah, eight quid. Okay. 
Uh, uh, that's fine. Yeah. Change the price on flour. Yeah. What's it going to be? 4.75. Yep. Okay. Uh, change the price on bread. No, bread, bread's good. Change the price on oil. Yeah. Six quid. Uh, they are tolerant to the pricing. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, sugar snacks, seven quid. Uh, tea. Haven't sold much, but it has been selling and no one's been griping. Seven quid. Uh, 4.40 is fine. 3.10 is fine. Good, good, good. Everything has better numbers now. All right. Let's fire it up. Where's the sign? It's over here. Let's go. Okay. Look, that's a re-up. Oh, no, we could probably read that up. There you go. Uh, cool. All right. Smooth. There's still some cheese and flour and stuff outside. I haven't forgotten about it. I am just haven't, haven't restocked it yet. Uh, isn't there a box of cheese still in the, that's not in the road? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't need to. Do I need to re-up the cheese? No, I'm I'm clearing a cheese shelf at the moment, and I've got a box down here somewhere as well. What's in that one? More bread. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's all it's all good. That's what I quite liked about World of Pants was the storage area where you'd have pallet loads of stuff turn up, and I think this that's what this needs is you know. To get a to get a phone call come in or an email or something that goes like, we got a special come in on uh, on wine gums. Oh really? Yeah, we can we can let you have wine gums at way below market rates. You go fine. I'll take it. How many have you got? Hundred boxes. Fine. Done. Sorted. I'll take it. Uh, Tim's been around for thirty three months. Tim's been around for for as long as anyone can remember. Fantastic into the movie boy series. I'm not going to say what happened for the peeps, but you were highly amused. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. I like it as an ending, and it serves its purpose. But I will go into more detail on that uh, in the forthcoming last Voo Boys, but it's not the Voo Boys escapade. Yeah. Oh, look at you, sir. Oh, aren't you the big shopper? Not a high score, but uh, clearly you're working off a government budget, and therefore that's fine. What are we doing? I was about to try and put in my PIN number. I was going, no, that's not going to work. No. It was good to hear Steg's back on the channel. He's not back. He was uh, he was doing a guest starring. Yeah. It was a it was a guest a guest voice. Two bottles of water. Well, I'm going to up the tempo twice then, aren't I? Uh, what do you do? Oh, you did cash. Uh, one, two, three, yeah, fifty, eighty. Right. There you go. Right. Water. No, what's that? No, wrong one. This one. Yeah. Okay. 320. Nope, that's 3.20. There you go. Okay, she's buying a lot. Yeah, she can't afford pasta. Well, she's cleaned out on everything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. 27 quid. See, get that, get those re retailer numbers floating. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we've tried we've tried working on margin. We're now trying to flip in ninety six. Yeah, okay, five, six, twenty-five. Okay, what do you want? All sorts of stuff. You needs a lot of tea. He really does. It's twenty five P. Spend it on sweeties. Right, you're going to card. Right, nine dot seventy. Good times. Well done, excellent work. Okay, what are we re upping? Anything? Oil? I'm not sure I've got any. Hang on. Uh, chalky picks. I haven't sold any chalky picks yet today. All right. Stick that over there. All right. That's what? Sugar sugar snacks. I think he just picked some up. No. I ah, put it down. Oh, poo. All right. Well, if we're lucky, we'll shift that before the end of the day. Hello, bruv. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. 75p. Oh, yeah. This is, this is making the change scenario that much easier uh bad guy 890 hey nine months on the thingamajig with the whatnot and so forth uh lovely job there uh bad guy uh, thank you very much uh bryco has chucked 20 bucks in the bucket thank you bry um yeah first time listener long time caller uh yeah, love the content and all the hard work don't call it content uh, and all the hard work you put into it thanks man that's great. I appreciate that. Uh, that's uh, that's very nice of you to say so. Uh, most generous indeed. 
Yeah, 14 bucks. Yeah, good. Whew. Right, yeah. Beep, bop, bop, boop. There we go. And then 24 and pennies. There you go. Look at the money coming up. She's gone for the cheese. Because the cheese is now... The, the cheese is right. Yeah. Okay, good. This is working. We need more flour on the shelf. Okay. We'll get her sorted and then we'll we'll flour up a bit. Yeah. yeah you need 23 dots. No, that's 230 quid. No, 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 two, three, seven. All right, rock and roll. Do the flour while he's browsing. Okay. All right, good. Yeah, excellent. We've probably got a couple of half boxes of flour going on there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're out of oil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fastest checkout gun in the West. 48 quid, sir. My goodness me, you truly are a, a, an excellent gentleman of fine and magnificent taste. Have yourself a flipping great day. All right, yeah, 13 and the 55s. 13.55. Water's not really selling massively. No. Okay. Keep an eye on that. I will do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. We're getting a, we're getting a few more card purchases going on here now. You can't afford cheese. Well, you don't deserve cheese then. How's the bread? Yeah, running low. Okay, I've got some I can I can re up bread. Uh, 31. Point five magical. Uh, you can't afford pasta. Yeah, well, that's life. Turn that on. Breads. Uh, breads. Okay, cool. Yep. Customer. Alright, yep. Uh, it's only a packet of cheese. It's fine. You could have got, I've just left the money on the side for you. I got, yeah, alright. Alright, nice one. It's uh, 50. So you can keep the change. That's what people say, you know. I go, well, why didn't you buy it at a higher price then? Hmm? Why? Why didn't you? We've made a lot of money today. This is good. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Punch it. 22.5s. Go. All right. Yep. Come on, son. Oh, he's gone for the water. A big mistake. Future customers hate him. Yeah, you can't afford the tea. Oh, well, what have we bought the water for then? Oh, I was going to put that in my saucepan to make me tea before sticking it in a microwave afterwards. You need flaming heathen. All right, 50 and the tens and a go. I can't just press return. No, you have to press space bar. Two bags of pasta, please, bruv. Ah, uh, you're, you're working on getting your carbs up, I see. Yeah, there you go. Get some bread next time as well. Flat. I'm going to make my own bread. Okay. I'm going to infuse it with saffron. Righto. That sounds quite nice. Um, yeah. What's this one? Tea. Okay. Go. Tea. Go tea. Yeah, if you like. All right. There's still some in on some left. All right. Fine. Chuck it. Yeah. What do you got here? Uh, breads. All right. All right, good. Chuck it. All right, what's this? Flat? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, all out of flat. Okay, right, then what you got here? Box of cheese. Nice, you got an empty shelf? Yes, sir. Do you want two empty shelves? No, 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 no. One empty shelf is enough. Okay, more cheese. All right, okay. What's this? Cereal. Right. Ah, the heady Chocopix days are behind us. Uh, I'm Shaun of the Dead has been a member of the Fail Brigade for six long months. Two bottles. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, T-Bone there keeping an eye on the uh, on the water situation for us. That's good. Yeah. All right. We've hit 9 p.m. It's the end of the day, but I've now got 650 quid in the bank. Ho, 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 ho. <coughs> That's uh, more like it. I am going to have to pay quite a lot. I haven't been given any more agenda. No, I'm level 7. Right, what does that get me on the computer? Uh, if we back out of here and go into management, I can have 
section three for 750 quid, but I've got nothing to fill it with. Yeah, bills, let's cover those off. Oh, ah, yep, all right. Uh, licenses. Just grab and drag, bruv. All right, there we go. Store over six, 400 quid. It doesn't leave me anything to buy the product with. That's a problem. But okay, that's where we're going next. We're going to get the next license. And then, hopefully, it will be worth... No, you've got a complete 200 checkouts. And I've got to be store level 10. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Be sad. Um, what about market and then furniture? A shelf's 200 notes. A freezer's 400 quid. A small rack. Yeah. A spotlight. Why do I don't need a spotlight? Another fridge. Yeah. I can buy eggs now at least. All right, let's go and just get stuff in. Um, get me one box of cereal. Okay. Uh, two sliced bread. Yeah. Uh, three flour. One flour. Okay. Give me two three oil yeah one pasta right one box of sugar okay bottle water no cheese no coffee get out uh tea yeah one okay uh, milk uh well it's milk or it's eggs it's not going to be both it's going to be eggs because i can make more money on them so i'll take two punnets of eggs please chars nice one pleasure doing business and so forth um right yeah okay yeah okay kevin's been a member of the fail brigade for wait for it 24 long months amazing work kevin uh, it's been a good stream but uh, you're back from the other side of the atlantic and you're trying to get over the jet lag so good night good night to you sir yeah yeah, coming back from the other side of the Atlantic's tough. Going out that way is easy, because all you've got to do is power through. If you power through, you're golden. Um, but coming back, you've you've got to try and resync quite quickly. But it's easier to resync on this side of the pond, I've always found, because uh, you end up just getting getting up at the wrong time. Where have we put that? You've started a second shelf. You wally. Yeah. All right. No, that's my bad. I take full responsibility. No, well, you should. You, you're the one who did it. Ugh. It's this breads. Yeah, well, we've got one bread shelf left. Okay. Do you want to do another bread shelf? I do. Uh, maybe. Lots of people buy bread. Lots of people buy bread. You're going to run out of water as well. That, that doesn't make me feel awful. Okay, right. What's this? More bread. Okay, get her open. Get her stacked. I think you've probably got a box of partial bread already. Well, uh, now I've got two. And then, yeah, chalky picks. Okay, yeah. Fully staffed. All right. And then, wheel. Sorted. Okay. And then, pasta. All right. Let's go. Passed it up. Uh, yeah, good. You empty. You are empty. Right. And then sugar. Uh, middle shelf only. Top. Oh no, top needed one as well. Right. Okay, good. And then tea. Where are my eggs? I ordered eggs. I'm certain. I, I'm pretty sure I ordered eggs. It's not in the dustbin. Didn't just get run over. No, nope, that's more oil. Okay. Where'd you put me eggs, bruv? It feels like they should be on a, you know, a fragile service. Oh, you've got all of that out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, no, no, these are all empties. Mm. What you doing? Hold on, it's some more. It's done a box of sugar snacks out here. Flipping egg. That'll never do. Did I not buy eggs? Someone was paying attention enough to know whether or not I bought eggs. Anybody? Anybody at all? Anyone? Anyone know? They haven't put them in the bin, have they? I don't think so. I want to nick these cones. You can't. Where's the eggs? I don't know. 
Uh, Jacob uh, has chucked a five in a bucket. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, you've crossed upon many times. Uh, I always make the connection in Europe. Uh, the less time between when I arrive in Europe and 7 p.m., the better. Okay. Yeah. Right. What are you going to do? I'm sure I ordered eggs. I talked about buying eggs. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like me. All right, I'll buy some. Hang on. Eggs. Add to cart. Yeah. Buy the eggs. Well, look, I'll tell you, it'll be obvious if I did hey. buy them because it'll, they'll be in a box that look familiar. Like, no, no, this is definitely egg boxes in an egg box. A box of egg... The bo you know... Ah, oh, you get a good you get a good selection in there. Yeah. Do you reckon there are any left in that? Probably not. And if they are, well they're busted now. Right, the market price is two is four seventy eight, which means I can charge. I'm gonna go for six twenty five and be optimistic. It's not a great markup, if I'm honest. But it'll do. Yeah. Okay, get the shop open. All right, big day, big day coming up, big day coming up. And I've got lots of lovely supplies. I've also got 200 quid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as a flight attendant, going west is easy. I've always found going west to be quite easy. Going east is brutal. Yes. Well, going east is harder, certainly. But I've never... I, I, I've never struggled too much with sleeping at weird times. Uh, but obviously, for those who are very much synchronised, I can see how that could be flipping. Heck, he's going for it. Uh, I can see that would be problematic. Rob, what you got, fella? Everything, please. New high score? No. Oh, he's only bought cheap stuff. Cheapskate. Still, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> uh, bottle of water. Yep. Okay. And go. Uh, 3.35. Alright. Hello. Two tubs of tea. To stick in my face. Uh, you want six quid. Done. You complain about the price of everything and yet you've come away with two tubs of tea and quite a few eggs. What does that say about you? Nothing good. No. Alright. What can I re up? I think we might be able to re-up some cheese. You haven't sold any cheese yet today. All right, well, we'll put a box of cheese just here. Go on. There you go. You can't afford cheese. Uh, well, it is the food of the rich. Only those with a sophisticated palate and, uh, and the desire to be yet more sophisticated uh, ever, ever go for it, you know? So, you know, what does that say about you? Just says you're low class, that's all. All right, there you go. Bag of pasta. That says high class. Oh, clearly. Right, what do you got for then? Couple of pastas, some cereal, box of tea. Wicked. 69. Honestly, there's a swizz going on out there somewhere. Yeah. Four and 50. Thank you, come again. Oh, you have done already. Right, there you go. Yep, good. Flour. Right, no change required. That's my kind of customer. He bought two, but I don't know. It's fine. The, the bottles will... Uh, I'm getting complaints about it. Well, yeah, I know. But as long as they keep buying it, it doesn't matter. One or two cheapskates, we can deal with that. But if people keep plunking it down, then it's not overpriced. And that's a fact. What do you need here? Uh, you don't need anything either. People paying the right money. This is, I'm liking this. All right. Using the flipping card machine, I like less, but I'm, you know, I'm still moderately on board with it. We're almost out of water. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. Good. Yep. And the profits are rolling in. Yeah, we are doing well on bread. I know. And these eggs seem to be moderately popular as well. They do. Thank you. Come again soon. Do, 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 do. Uh, stock up the flour. Uh, pasta, if you've got any. I don't think I have. Don't think I have. Yeah. You could possibly squeeze the price of tea a little bit more. I haven't seen anyone griping about that. But it's okay. Uh, 
And uh, I mean, if they're buying it, it is our best markup item, so. I'm largely, I'm largely calling the gang. What have we got here? One box of choco picks. I must have sold a box by now. There you go. All right. And then, what are you? Sugar snacks. Uh, one? No. One? No. They don't need any. Okay, put that down here. Put it, put it, go on, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. Some cheese. All right. Yeah. And another one. Good. Almost sold through a box of cheese. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Right, hello. You love it. In fact, I think tea is underpriced. I think you might be right. Okay. Yeah, we could probably slap another couple of couple of shekels on a on a cup of tea. <sighs> oh, hello. Two bottles and a shake and a all sorts. Thirty-eight ten. You want ninety p? Okay. I'll tell you what. Have a quid. You made a good amount of pricing purchasing there. You couldn't take the bot all the bottles from one shelf. No. Alright, okay. Hang on. I'm really going to reprice that while she's got some in hand. She'll have a rude awakening. Um, right. What are you? Eggs. Ah. Right. Yep. Good. And sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, a bottle of water, please. Uh, did you get it at the old price? No, she got it at the old price. Oh, clever game. Because otherwise you could up the price to 27 grand. Which obviously I would do immediately. Yeah. Two bottles of oil, please, bruv. Yeah. No, the car's broken down. Oh, okay. There's a quid. Why did you give me 13 quid? That makes no sense. Did you have a $3 bill? Did you? No, because it was funny money. You're playing the system and I see you. But obviously I'm quite happy to launder the money. So, you know, there's that too. Yay. Right, yeah, just sling it. Right, what's in here? Flower. Cool. Another box bites the dust. Excellent. What's this one? Tea. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah. We were gonna. We were gonna aggressively reprice tea. Slightly aggressively. Okay. Oh, yeah, sugar powder's too expensive. Yeah. I know. Hang on. Uh, let's push it to seven twenty-five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It should be the. Should be the margin. The margin is all important. Yeah. Display's full. Yeah. I know. Uh, yeah, and so is my bank account. Well, it's not. It's. I mean, it's. It's trickling along, is what it's doing. Uh, Twenty-six notes and fifty cent. Yeah, you want seventy-five quid? Yeah, seventy-three. Why don't you give them twenties? I don't like giving away twenties. You know, I like to keep those because they're useful. Okay. Yeah. Tea still sold. I saw. That's nice. Uh, Nineteen dot. 25 enjoy your purchase hello madam two boxes of cereal i'm feeling it okay you can please continue to feel it that would be that would be super there was briefly a two dollar bill in the us we, we have a two pound coin in here oh yeah oh yeah pretty sure there's a two euro coin as well uh but uh because, I mean, these things are introduced because people find them useful. Or rather, you know, when they consider the uh, the impact of doing so, they kind of go, yeah, actually, this would cut down on the need for quite so many such and suches. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah. Right. There you go. It's another day done. All right. What have we got here? Wheel. Okay, I think we sold a little at the end there. All right, good. Stick it on there. Right, what else have we got? Uh, we've got the need for cheese and tea. That's not tea. What is it then? It's bread. Ah, okay. Yeah, good. Another box into the strasser. Yep. Sugar snacks. Yes, there is a minor sugar snack demand. You've got some more here. Okay. 
All right. Yeah. Good. What do we got here? Uh, that's T. Oh. Okay. Never mind. There'll be another opportunity to sell that. Uh, what are you? That's cereal. Good. All right. Put it in the heap. I'm loving how well ordered everything isn't. Cheese. Okay. You've got two racks of cheese at the moment. Do you need two racks of cheese? I'm going to go with yes. And in here. Bread. Uh, just did. No, I didn't just do bread. I think you did, but you ran out. Oh, okay. By the way, there's only two ba two bags left in there. Yeah. Anything else? You. Oil. Right. Okay. All right. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. You like the bag lights. Um, some douche designer was yakking about how LED lighting should only be white. Why? Why? Uh, also, you don't get to set the rules, bruv. Uh, the rules are, if it makes you happy to have disco lights, have disco lights. Have them. It just makes life so much better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got white lights of the LED variety in the kitchen and it's good because I need to be able to see what I'm doing in the kitchen but in here, so if I turn off my my make me not look like I'm I'm in, you know the Matrix or similar uh, then uh, then it's good because I've got two, I've, well I've actually got three zones going on I've got the reds here down at the bottom I've got, a, I've got some alternating colour but you can't see it but I can, it's really nice and then I've got two Full on disco. In fact, I'm going to show you. Hang on. No, you called it out. I'm, I'm getting the remote. Right, if I do this, yeah. There you go. Ah, the disco has erupted. You could do this. And then the disco's well into it. Woo! It also looks like I'm being swatted ever so slightly. But there's green and stuff in there as well. So that's, that's nice. And uh, give it some of this. Big ups! Uh, and then, what's four do? I think four's the one we actually use. There you go. Four is the slow fade between colours, which I quite like. See? And and if I point it correctly, because there's two two separate disco lights on uh, on the that use the same or exactly the same model of disco light. And uh, where are you going with this? Or if I point it carefully, I can have them in different phases. So it does light blending between the two, which is really lovely. Uh, but as it is right now, it still does light blending with the reds that I've got here. See? Ooh. What's five do? Don't know. Press it. I am doing. I think that's me automatically pushing it to the next color. All right, six. Oh, slightly faster pulsage. On what? Ah, I only hit one side. Yeah, no, that's that's distracting. Sorry, I'm I'm just gonna get through the rest of these. Seven, yeah, yeah. There's eight, right, and there's nine. Yeah, and also I can um because they are actual disco lights, I can hook them up uh, to a disco light controller. <coughs> they're already they're already voice activated, but I haven't got it turned on because. It won't hear me very well from here anyway. So there you go. That was the lighting interlude. I hope you had as good a time with it as I did. Uh, and uh, there you are. There it is. There we go. There you, there you have it. Right. Let's uh, get the statistics on the go. Uh, only 177 today. Yeah, I know. I paid quite a lot of bills though. Right. I've got two shelves empty. Three shelves empty. Do I want to continue with water? Oh, especially I could get milk in. Might it might increase your basket? See, it's it's all about increasing the basket value. Uh, you know, they come in for water and they end up buying Call of Duty. That's what it's all about. You've done that. Yeah, I'm looking for the box of flour that's down here somewhere. I can throw it here. Just try and stop me some eggs. Yeah, that's now full again. All right. Maybe I haven't got any. Maybe I haven't got any flour left. Uh, no, no, no. I don't think you have. I think you're going to need some more flour. Okay. So what? Flour, yeah. Box of pasta. No, probably. And then milk if you fancy it. Righto. Okay. Yeah. 
Let's let's go. Oh, we're we're persisting. Right, two flowers. Yeah, we get we get through a good amount. Of, get a, yeah, box pasta. Yeah, and then milk if you fancy it. Well, it's another one in the yeah. I mean, it adds to the it adds to the it does. All right, give me two of them. All right, it's all about a basket value. Value of basket. That's what it's all about. All right, you reckon you've got enough eggs to get through the day? Well, if I haven't, I haven't. That's the uh, that's the life of the world. I'm sure it is. Pay your bills. Oh, I don't want to. Can I just set up a direct debit? Nope, because that counts as gameplay. Uh, yeah, I know. All right, milky, milky. Yeah. All right, slap it in. All right, leave the rest here, because you know we are lower than cheese on cheese now than we were before. All right, what's the price of milk? Well, the market price is two fifty nine. So what we're talking about three seventy five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's got to be worth my time. See, I mean, I'm not. You know, I'm no mud. Have some more milk. All right, stick it over there. You'll forget. Yeah, I know, but it's got a best before date of tomorrow, so it'll be fine. All uh, right. That's an empty one. Woohoo! Like an empty one. All right, you flat. Do you want two shelves of it or not? Yeah, I've got I've got spare shelves, and it saves me re-upping too often, so that's fine. Right, and that's a spare box of flour. Right. Okay. Cool. Right. Open a shop and get the money. We're on the cusp of leveling up. Uh, use the sidewalk storage flour. I've got sidewalk storage flour going on. Oh, well. I mean, it's not like it won't get used. It'll get used. That's pricey for milk. It's pricey for everything, Timo. Uh, I'm, you know, I don't, uh, I don't distinguish uh, between uh, between bargains and uh, you know scalping, as far as I'm concerned, it's the same thing. Right, she's in. She's thinking. Oh no, can't afford tea. Not in those hills. No. no. I could have told you that. Just just seeing you going down the street, going no no, this is not the shop for you. You've spent all your money on expensive shoes. He can afford tea. Look at him. He hasn't spent any money on any of his outfit. Flipping. I goes. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. There's so much flour. Okay, he's griping about the water. He's griping about the milk. Oh, spent it all on flour. All right, how are you paying? Cash money, sir. You've still got 80 quid. You could have covered that, no problem at all. 3.25, go on. There you go. Hello, miss. Yeah, all right. Oh, she won't look me in the eye. Okay, she's stolen this credit card. Yeah, that's 75. And go. Okay, yeah. Fine. Fine. Uh, yeah, that you buy milk in gallons in uh, America car car, it bothers me. Yeah. That's that's not a that's not a you should never be talking about comestibles in a uh, in the sense of being gallons. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, good, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, hello, new big spender. 52 quid. Oh, yeah, he's just had his bonus from work. He's gone, I'm going to spend it all on shopping. And you go, well, I invite you to do so. It's rather the reason that we're here. She just wants sugar and water. Uh, what are you going to make with that? I'm going to make tear gas. Are you? I have a special formula. <laughs> Good for you. All right. Have we sold any milk yet? Yeah, I think we've done one. All right. Then it's not too expensive, is it? Nope. Because if one person will buy it, many people will buy it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Twenty-seven ninety. Yeah, that was the right money. I didn't see any jingle jingle going on. Did you give me a ninety cent note? Because that's not a that's not a thing. Now you've emptied the box. Good. Okay, what's in this one? Oil. I must have done some by now. All right. And in this one? Uh, eggs. There you empty the box. Whoop. All right, let's go. Customers! Yeah. Hello, sir and or madam. Whoop. 
Thank you. Cash. And no change. You. Double milks. Ah, the way to live. Go. Yeah. Not gallons. A gallon. Same thing. It's still an improper size for anything. You shouldn't be selling anything you drink in gallons. Yeah, that's just wrong. Right, boop, boop. Yeah, doop, and then. 12 quid. Done. Yep, you. I need some oil. Pronto. All right, 12 quid. You two are going to some kind of special oily party, aren't you? Oh, you'll have a lovely time. I remember the days. Do you? No. Uh, I remember the, thinking about the days. Do you? No. Okay. All right, what's this? Sugar snacks. All right, get him out of there. And you? Cheese. All right, one in there, one in there. Hey, another box done. Well, let's get selling. All right, what have we gone for? Oh, you know, this and that. Lovely. 17.15. Thank you for calling. All right, water. Yeah. Ah, I think that was the last of the water, sir. Well done. Dot 85. Thank you. Hello. Money. And you want 79.50. All right, it's okay. And one of those. Cool. How are we looking? Uh, nothing's particularly short right now. We did just run out of water. You could do a second shelf of milk. But milk isn't exactly flying off the shelf at the moment, so that's not too big a hassle. I have a feeling, though, that uh, that there is some lead time. Uh, and, and therefore, they won't be picking up the new products until the next day or similar. But that's just a hunch based on how other games have handled this kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, I'm speculating. Are you? Oh, I very much am. T. Good. Done. Excellent. Hello. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Boink, 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 boink. Lovely. 70 notes change. Easy peasy. Go, you, fla. Notes this. 4.75. Hit it. Go. And money. Chairs. Nice one. Leave. Oh, you want 4.75. 4.50. 75. There you go. Adios. Alright. Uh, what's in this one? Oil. Are we there yet? Yes, we are. Are we? Not quite. Ah. What's in this one? Cheese. And yes, we're there. Another box for the streets. Flare. Uh, probably. Another box for the streets. Yep. Okay. And you? Chucky Picks. Alright, okay. Another box for in the shop. One oil. Okay, alright. I'll get to it. Yeah. I'll get to it after you. Hey! You've taken an oil. That's very good of you. No change. And this and that. Alright, you want $39. I'm happy to oblige you for $39. There you go. Enjoy it. Yes, sir. Alright, milky. Uh, right. 14 quid. Paid with the right money. Excellent. And then, right, chalky picks. You haven't sold any more chalky picks. I should have. Yeah, but you haven't. That's an empty. Start getting these empties out of here. You've had your fun. Yeah, all right. That's not empty. No, no. All right, yeah. Stick that in the heap. There you are. What are you? Lots of oil. Ah, back from the days where oil was pretty much the only thing we'd sell. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Brid. 10, 4, 3, 50. 1, 2, 3, and 50 cents. Go. Yeah. See, look, the commentary's got less exciting now that I'm merely focused on rinsing these people for as much cash as possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well we're not having fun anymore, are we? No, capitalism has taken over our soul and very being. Ugh. Well, yes. But I want to see what happens next, because we won't be back for seconds. Yeah, you could just stick this in the bottom shelf and be done with it. 
No, I won't be done with it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will be done with it. There we go. All right, yeah, let's get some of these out. All right, okay. Yeah, I need... See, I'm working on inventory management now. Yeah, excellent. All right, okay, yeah. I'm managing inventory. Well, no one's in the shop anyway. The shop's closed for the day. Okay, all right, yeah. Cat heaven in the middle of the street. That's the perfect thing to do with cats. They go, go on, go on, kitty, go and play with the boxes. Don't worry about the traffic. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. They get moved, mown down by a very slow moving Porsche. Yep. I apologise to those getting the motion six there. I've done now. Uh, well, I, I'll leave that lot for later. I mean, I wouldn't deprive myself of all the fun. What's that? What are you then? Why? It's bread. Oh, is it? Right. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. Getting the empties out. Uh, do I know about the bin? Yeah. Do you know about, uh, you know, how to have, how to have fun with life? Because that's what not using the bin means. I mean, if they were to pay me for using the bin, I would use it. But they don't, so I'm not gonna. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 We're golden. All right. Finish up for the day. Can't, no, you can't, unfortunately. No. Right. 400 quid profit. Now you're talking. Five, I've got a grand in the bank. Yeah. All right. Price of bread's come down. Couldn't care less. I'm level eight. What do I need for something fun to happen? Uh, please hold. Growth. Uh, the next section, 750 quid. Yeah, I don't need another section, though. I, I mean, I'm barely using this one. You could afford to hire someone now. Yeah, but I, I won't have enough to do all day. Okay, what's your next license at? Uh, it's 400 quid. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I've got spare shelves. Okay, all right. Think about the cart value. The cart value. The value of the... Think, I'm, are you thinking about it? You should be. Right, what are we looking at shelf-wise? You currently have one spare shelf. Okay. Okay. You will have more than one when the last of this pasta sells through. That said, you do need another box of pasta. Uh, okay. All right. So we're going to try and do single shelving. That's the point at which I want a shop assistant to actually manage the till while I keep things restocked. You can get bread down. All right, let's get three products in. <clears throat> Plus pasta, because we're short on it. Okay. Right, what's new? What's hot? Our survey says we've got olive oil, two ninety nine raw price. Okay. We go for the highest cost for different flour. That's a three ninety nine raw price, is it? What's the difference between that and the flour I've already got? This is primo flour. Okay, uh, pasta at three eighty five. That's expensive. Two ninety five for peanut butter. That's cheap. Okay, basmati rice for four quid. Flaming heck! All right, get me two of them. All right, give me uh, give me some pat some peanut butter in. Because I like peanut butter. Uh, yeah. Anything else from that? Salt. 75p. No, I'm not wasting shelf space on such paupery items. All right. That's three rows. You've got two new products. So that's two shelves to fill. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I wonder if you get to do planogramming later on. That's a big part of the supermarket game. Planogram. Did I buy expensive flour? No. You went with peanut butter and basmati rice, which you could argue would work well together. All right, I'll get two boxes of uh, expensive flour as well. Okay, right. Down to 400 notes. Yeah, but I mean, you've got some very tasteful new products. Is peanut butter the one you want to start with? No. Okay, what are you starting with? Is it pricey flour? No. Okay. Well, why are you bringing them in? To save me time later when I'm 
diving around like a mad person. Okay. There you go. Supreme flower. We are now the, the flower supremacist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's, that's full. Nice. Ready to be refilled then. And then more peanut butter. I think you might have gone overboard there. Ah, no. It's just details. More peanut butter. Okay. And then uh, you bought some basmati rice. That's what I was going to stick out first. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, stick that down. Yes, you can. All right. Well, throw it here. That's coming up next because it was expensive. I thought I bought regular pasta. You did. It's here. Ah, right. Yeah. Do you want two shelves of that? Yeah. No. Yes. Okay. Why yes? One more sugar snack's gone there and uh, I'll replace it. And then any one of the breads empties, I'll replace that. Okay, are we good to open? We are good to open. So open. I'm opening. Need to sell astronaut ice cream. It's disgusting. Have you ever tried it? It's disgusting. I mean, I would hate being an astronaut if that was the kind of go, what's for tea? Well, we've got pudding. Have you? What what we got? Astronaut ice cream. I'm getting off. Yeah, he's gone tea. All right. He's gone for the posh flower. He's gone two bags. Of I'm selling. Oh crikey! I haven't set the price. That's why he's gone for two bags of it. The market price is six. So anyway, it's going to be eight fifty. That's not enough. Nine quid. That's more like it. But even that's not enough. Right. Yeah, you've done well for yourself there, clown. He's going. <laughs> I took him for a ride. I'll get you next time. You not whoa steady on. Don't give him fifty quid as well. That would be an error in judgment. Uh, Seventy, yeah, seven. Get out! You couldn't find peanut butter. It's in a box at the back. I want to sell it like Aldi does and just slap it on a pallet and hope for the best, but apparently not. No. I didn't. I forgot to set the price. Yeah, I know, but these things happen. Worst things happen uh, places where worst things. It's a video game. Who cares? Oh yeah. Okay. Fair play. Yeah. Who okay. cares? Hello. Chocky picks and eggs. I'm making scrambled chocky pit. A lot. It's the angry lady from earlier. Uh, okay. She still seems quite angry. Well, yeah. I mean, you treat all these people with disdain. What do you expect? Eighteen quid's worth of flour. That's not bad going. It would be better going if you hadn't, you know not charged him enough first time around true he didn't sweat the price of the flower did he no you can probably up it a little bit further yeah what are you looking for i couldn't find two pages olive oil well yeah i know who said that we were stocking it because we're not all right is that the posh flower no that's more pasta that's posh flour. all right yeah, you don't get much on there no you don't uh, up the tempo on the price. Okay, uh, nine fifty. <clears throat> That's better. Right. Milk. Hello. It's only about three days old at this point, so it's still good. I mean, it's still good if you like it. A little cheesy. Uh, yeah. Chubby pigs and oil. I'm I'm a traditionalist. How have you given me twenty one quid? You gave me too much money, you Burke. Right. Yeah. Hello, yeah, seven fifty, and there you are. Goodbye then. Okay, right. Have I got an empty shelf yet? No, of course not. All right, bread, bread, and oil. Yeah, I like the. I like he goes. Take it. Not a bit. All right. Okay, easy. Yeah, lots of pasta on the menu for you today. I see. I'm not making any judgments. Maybe, maybe you're running a marathon tomorrow. In which case, good luck. Hope it goes well for your charity. Uh, right, yep. And? Jeez. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Terrifying cheese lady. Yoot. Okay. Hello. Uh, money. Did she just buy the expensive flour? I think she no, that was only six fifty. Alright, okay, she didn't then. 
Uh, 10.25 equals go. All right. <clears throat> can, you can put one bag of sh sugar back into the... Ah, no, 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 no. Once it's on the shelf, it stays on the shelf. Yeah. No, it stays on the shelf till... So I don't care. It's staying on that shelf until someone has bought it. That's how it works. It will be covered in maggots and dust. And uh, and someone will have to buy it. And at some point, we'll declare it a, a heritage a heritage product line. And uh, and people will still go, ah, I'm going to go and see the, the heritage product line. Oh, really? Can I come? Yeah, yeah, all right. It's been there forever such a long time. Yeah, I know. Almost as long as our country's been around. Uh, 225 to... 25. Off you go. We got an empty yet. Pasta might empty. Yeah. Two shelves of oil is now looking a little bit much. Yeah, I know you should put olive oil on one of those. Yeah. Okay. 50, 75. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You couldn't find peanut butter. I'm going to shelves left. Buy some more bread. Come on. Yeah, you've got three loads of eggs. Yeah. Basic flour. Okay. The basic flour isn't selling quite so well now because I've got advanced flour as well. Cheese. Okay. Keep the cheese rolling. One basic flour. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it's barely worth my time serving you, you know. I'm just saying. Couldn't find any water. No, because it's a Swiss, isn't it? All right. Another box gone. Woohoo! Uh, right, what are you? Your pasta. Right. Okay, put it down. I'm not restocking pasta, not at the moment. I'm still, I must, I'm on clearance mode. Uh, no, you're done. Cool, thank you. You want basmati rice? So do I. That's what I'm living for. I have high expectations for basmati rice. I think it's going to go great. That's why I bought a box of it. Sugar snacks. One. That was worth it. Yeah. You've got some more oil here. Which shelf are we keeping? Let's keep the lower shelf and we'll put olive oil over, above it, maybe. I don't know. Can't decide. I'll change my mind anyway. No doubt. Whoa, what you got? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. Much obliged. 20 and 50 cents. Bye-bye. He just bought expensive flour again, so the price is still right. You're only doing cheap foods, so the price is not right. Okay, all right. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah. 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 There you are. Oh, that's good. He's just gone for tea. All right, okay. Well, if that's all you want, sir, then... Uh, no, he wants chocky picks with it. He's going to soak his chocky picks in tea. Well, it might be a taste sensation. You never know. Three, four, yeah, and 75 cents. Off you trot. You've bought nothing but expensive things. You're my favourite kind of customer. <sighs> Come on! I've got 800... We're almost level nine. But I'm, I'm rapidly coming to the conclusion that this is less a game and more actually working in a pigging supermarket. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling very gamified right now. Oh, basmati rice is on. It doesn't feel strategic. Uh, I'm, done, I'm coming to a review portion here. Uh, it doesn't feel strategic. It doesn't... Gas Station Simulator did it better. Uh, let's go for nine fifty. Yeah, that feels that feels good. Um, yeah, gas station simulator was much more fun doing this kind of stuff. Plus, the amount of random tat you'd have in there was great. Having to clean as much as it's a drag made for variety. Uh, and what this just doesn't have is any variety at all. All I'm doing is just cashing up all the time, and that's great. But what are we at? We're at three hours and a bit. Okay, let's call it three hours because I've been, you know, doing a bit of that along the way. 
uh, and not focusing just on playing the game. Which shelf? None of them. Okay. Yeah, no, we want to empty the shelves. All right. What's in this? I think that's is that pricey flour? No, that's pasta. Okay. Uh, you sugary snacks. You regular flour. Leave that one to empty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't. It it's not there yet. Now it's early access, and you kind of go, okay, fine, it's early access. But at the same time, this is last access for me. I won't be back. You get one shot. Now, obviously, you don't care because you've already got me money. Did you get this for free? Do you know? I think I did. I think I did. I think I did get this one for free. Um, uh, but that's hardly the point. I would have spent. I would have paid for it, right? Because, but the reason I would have paid for it is to provide video on it. Because this is the kind of thing that is uh, that is great video fodder for me, right? It's the sort of video nonsense that uh, that makes it makes commentary very easy, or it would have done early on uh, while I was yelling at all of the individual punters. Uh, that would have been, you know. Good, solid, if somewhat basic entertainment. And I could have made a nice 20 minute video out of that. No problemo. Uh, and, uh, and it would sit alongside all of the other rubbish simulators I've got going on. Because where this is good, it's actually, it's polished. But it's, they've, they've polished uh, not much going on. Yeah. Alright, okay, end the day. Yeah. You know... At least I'm making real money while working in the store. That's true. Yes, I may be. <laughs> I may be working in a store, but I am actually getting paid for it. Yes, that's that is valid. Right, I need eggs. I'm keeping. I'm still going. I need more tea. Eggs, tea, and I think that will probably do it. I need them for milk. Yep, milk's okay. Right, eggs and tea. One of each. Uh, go two eggs, two tea. Okay. Uh, done. Yeah. And then two tea. Done. Okay. That's not so bad. Yeah. Do you want to settle your bills while you're here as well? That's it. I mean, look, it's got settling bills as a standalone thing to do, right? But it's just clicking the buttons. There's nothing exciting going on in there. Uh, I think I'd be a, right, a wrestling empire. I played it. I've done it. I've done a wrestling empire video, or if not wrestling empire, I've done an M Dicky uh, uh, wrestling video before as an experimental. Uh, it was, it was okay. The problem with it is that as much as it gets, everything about wrestling, the kind of social phenomenon, spot on. Uh, you know, in terms of uh, of storytelling and the rest of it, absolutely nails it. You know what? I should have another go at it. I should have another go at it. It would work well on the electro sports. Yeah. People like the characters. People do like the characters. All right. I might give it another spin. I might give it another spin on electro sports. Um I'm in no hurry to do so because it is extraordinarily janky looking. Extraordinary. Oh, you need another thing of posh flour. That's pasta. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, posh flour. And market. Flour. Yeah, I'll get two. What about basmati? Get another one of those because you've only got one lot on and you make big money off that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You'd like to see some oxygen not included. You're never going to see oxygen not included. There are two reasons why you are never going to see oxygen not included. People in the chat, please explain what those two reasons are. Thank you very much. Uh, two good reasons you're never, ever going to see it. Not ever, never, ever. Yeah, they're, they're both unfortunate. One of them is subjective. One of them is objective. Uh, you'd have to dig for it, Eduardo. I think it might even have been a fail, fail brigade exclusive. Um, so I couldn't, 
yeah, I did. I wouldn't know where to look to find it. I, I could do a search, maybe. Um, but uh, but either way, you didn't miss much. It was an exp it was experimental. The back seating is horrific on oxygen not included. Reason number one. Yeah, yeah. Advice from commenters. Same reason. Yeah, absolutely. The back seat drivers. There we go. Yeah, Yorkshire Phaser has nailed oh, number two, which is the art style. I can't stand the art style. Cannot stand it. Um, there's been a couple that have used a similar art style. And here's the thing. Here's the important thing. There's nothing wrong with it. But I can't stand it. I absolute, There's an absolutely nothing wrong with it. It is a perfectly fine art style. It is, uh, it is characterful. It is likeable. And the rest of it. But it, for me, it has fall, fallen into the zone that is reserved for super dry. It is, uh, it is purposefully engineered. It's a weird one. It's a, I, I genuinely, it's genuinely weird. And this is me. Uh, it's, it is dishonestly that style, right? Like su like soup. Superdry, the clothing brand, and North Face, the clothing brand. I will, I'll never buy anything from either of them because they are, they are engineered for people of my age and socio-economic background. They're there to be catnip to just those kinds of people, and as such, I go no, because I will not be dictated to in the way of ah oh, yeah i will totally wear this and you have designed it to appeal to me i can't explain why it's not i don't know but i am may i am i'm being purposefully difficult about it i don't know why and the art style for oni is exactly the same thing which is i don't think they've done it in that art style because they love that art style i think they've done well what am i doing here five quid yeah right um I think they've done it in that art style in order to appeal to people rather than it being honestly the art style they would have chosen to do. And I'm probably wrong about that. They probably just love the art style. I can't I can't explain it, but it just makes me feel icky. And there you go. It feels like I'm being manipulated. There you go. Ah, that's that's your summation point. It feels like manipulation, and I don't like it. Uh, and I'm probably wrong, but I feel manipulated into liking it, and therefore I'm not into it. And it's stupid because everything is designed in a way to appeal to people, otherwise it wouldn't appeal to anyone. But I feel manipulated into liking it, and therefore I, uh, I, I have a, a rejection thereof. I did. I did say that I'm mental, right? Yeah, a little bit. I'm a. I'm a li hey, well, we're all a little bit mental, but I mean, I'm. You know, I've got. I've got a couple of screws that uh, could do with a bit of a tighten, or maybe a bit. Of, look, he's gone straight for two packs of basmati rice. What a ledge! Uh, good lad. Uh, right? Did you clear? You cleared the shelf. You're a ledge as well. I tell you what, you can have it for free. What did you give me? Uh, you gave me 20 quid. There you go. Excellent. Just for clearing the shelf, you sweetheart. Uh, right. I like that you can overchange people. That's a really nice... It doesn't go, oh, you've given them too much. Change. No. No, no, no. Give me the freedom. Also, let me try and overcharge people. Because why not? Where does it... Where do you harm the gameplay in trying to pull a fast one on customers? Particularly, and this is something else that Shopkeep 2 does really well, is the customers keep coming back. They keep coming. They, they, just, they just keep coming back. Uh, and so you can see all the gear they bought from you before. But they also, they won't come back if they had a negative experience. And so if I overcharge people... Uh, they shouldn't come back, but you should at least uh, be allowed to drive. You should be allowed to be unscrupulous. The lack of scrupulousness is... Because uh, all supermarkets are unscrupulous. Peanut butter's just going on sale there, kids. Get it while it's hot or cold. Right. 
get rid of that and then set the price before someone gets in there market price is 587 quid you sure that's only four quid profit all right 750 there you go yeah everything's coming in at about the same profit margin which also i don't like very much it's not a no it's not even the same profit it, it's not even the same margin it's the same raw profit value then I'm and then I'm underpricing in some places. Well, yeah. Or I'm underpricing tolerance in some places. We're getting steady. Where are we? 640 odd. Yeah. Uh, 85 cents. Uh, 50, 70, 85. You've given him 5p too much. He can take it. Thank you for your rice purchase. Excellent choice. 16 quid. Uh, boop, beep. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. All right, good. 13 and 75. 13 and 75. Good. And you know what else this needs? Best before dates. You, you need your, you need your stock to expire. And then you can, you can, again, to be unscrupulous. I want to give people food poisoning. I want to be one step ahead of the press. You want coupon day, where you have to reject the coupons because they're over-saturated, pricey, whatnot, expired business. Uh, there are so many ways you could go with this to make it more interesting. You could have your your local herbaceous supplement uh, supplier uh, rock up and go, uh, you fancy stocking some of this? People will come in and they will ask for cheese topping and if you uh, if you give them one of these they will give you 50 quid it's a different kind of game i know but at the same time it's a it's a good give me the money all right you want 50p there you go yeah i need some funds to keep the lights on <laughs> thanks amy um for a fiver and mr mcbee you need a meat locker for sketchy meats yeah totally because, look, here's the thing, right? It's that some simulators, the act of the simulation therein is in itself fun. This is diverting, but I've already reached the point where I'm never going to touch it again. Um, and it was only initially diverting. Um, it's a brewery sim. That, that beer brewing sim that I played, such a great idea. Such a such a great idea but what it needed was a tycoon game attached to it uh and less repetition and then you only need to focus on the bits you're finding fun i think we keep the bottom shelf stocked but don't stock either just in case you run out on the one of them or the other yeah okay all right what do we got here uh rice okay yeah good yeah okay it's like uh, i've i've had uh i've had playway or whoever it is in my uh, in my inbox this week they're offering me hairdressing simulator and again i'm going that's a no-brainer video right there that's an easy one uh you could just basically say something for the weekend 50 times in a row jobs are good and yeah i've changed my mind i want the box gone um uh yeah and you know so as a, as far as a, a one and done video easy peasy um but in terms of would i want to play it again no no i know already i, I don't even have to don't even have to fire the thing up to know that it's going to be very skinny on content because barely a barely a complete game simulator is playway speciality and then if people actually play the thing they might actually uh they might actually finish it but otherwise they might actually just kind of go we're finished ta-da move on to something else i well, played graveyard keeper i have but not on video it's not my kind of game uh i, I stuck in a couple of hours it's for those of you who don't know graveyard keeper is stardew valley in a graveyard where you're looking after dead bodies it's cute it's very well done it's very well written um but i don't like too much chat 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 with npcs doesn't fill me full of glee uh so that's why i haven't covered it 
because it's not for me. I, I mean, you know already, I skip all the chat. <laughs> always, always skip all the chat, all the time. Right, bread, we're down to one shelf. That's good. I'm going again. I'm, I'm going the full distance on this. Even though I'm griping about it, we're going the full way. I want to try and... You know what I'd like as an objective to achieve before the end of the stream? Speak! 100 quid basket. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's see if we can get someone to get a 100 quid basket. And we know already that we can't cheese it and just charge them a fortune because they won't pay it. Uh, how are you doing in the fridge? I think we're down on eggs. All right, let's get that. Coffee, you're going to be able to make profit on coffee. Yeah, but I'm not so sure you can. It's only letting you max out. It's only letting you margin to about five quid. And it doesn't matter how much the base unit price is. No, I don't think that's you. Really? Yeah. We're not buying salt. There's no there's no money in it. Okay. Despite the fact it's used everywhere, but that is a that is a relatively adequate uh get all the steam achievements. No. Uh achievements exist for people who can't figure out how to have fun. Uh, there you go. Right. They can't you only have to set your own achievements. I, personally, if I uh, if I'm still playing it, then uh, then you know, great. If I'm not, then I've finished. Right. Oil, yeah, 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 yeah. Set the price, yeah, the price. Right, the market price is five sixty eight. Then let's go for seven fifty again. That's not gonna. It's just not. It's not giving me a big bump up. It says four fifty one. All right, let's go eight fifty. That's aggressively priced. Yeah. Yeah. Wolfgang's been a member of the Fire Brigade for 26 long months and has used this to, to, to join the end of the stream. Well, good for you. You know what? It doesn't matter when in the stream you join, as long as you do, because we're all having a rare old time, apart from those of us who aren't. Market price is 6 nine fifty. You reckon people will go for that? It's only five and a half quid. And do you think the green is price tolerance? No, I think it's just green. You didn't buy any bread. I should have bought some bread. And you need basic flour. I need basic flour. Okay. I right. I can still those time. Yeah, I know. Basic flour and bread. Milk, you're fine. Okay. Uh, right. Yeah, you are more olive oil. Alright. Basic flour and bread. Yeah. Okay. Give me two, please. Thank you. All right. Bread. Give me two, please. Thank you. And purchase. And leave it. Yeah. That's the other thing World of Pants does better. You're only allowed to make one order a day. And I think you have to order it in advance as well. Which is really good because it means you have to actually think about what it is you're doing. World of Pants, I tell you, as much as it looked janky, much, much more game in there. Uh, right, let's go. It's not even called... It's, it's called King of Retail. There you go. When I say World of Pants, King of Retail, that's what it's actually called. <coughs> so there are no charts in this game. Uh, good question. Let's have a look. I don't know. I have not seen it advertise it management right licenses we've seen i can get numbers nine and ten now uh, uh, eight and nine rather no it's two level nines you know what i mean yeah is there anything that's going to go for super expensive no no it's about because it's about maximizing your your shelf space your your margin per shelf space Right, I've got to hit level 10 to have a cashier. Yay. Storage is locked, customization is locked. So no, there are no charts, which makes it not a management game. Oh, hold on, bank. No, nope, that's just a basic loan. I don't need a loan. I'm doing fine. I've got everything that I need and more and less, but mostly more. Right, are we all G to G here? Uh, you've got very few chalky picks left. Yeah, I know, but it, I mean, if it sells out, it sells out. Let's rock and roll. 
Now turn the shop on. <sighs> okay, yeah. Okay, artisan, artisan yogurt. It's not going to be more expensive than tea, though. That's the thing. Tea is our current market leader. In fact, we might bump the price. What are we making? We're making four seventy. We should be able to make five seventy without anybody sweating it. So let's try it. We may sell a few less. In fact, let's check the margin on all of these. So that six quid, six quid on each one of those, and people are still buying it. People complain, yes. Big lad, though, he never complains. He's always, he knows what he wants, and he's come in for it. He's, ah, I see the sugar powder is too much for him. Okay. Just the two, then. See, he would have been a more valuable basket, which is why it's not about just, you know, mercilessly rinsing them for price point. Yeah. Hey-ho, it's all good. Yeah, it, this is all very polished. The actual cash transaction -y stuff, it's nice. But it's all I'm doing. I'm just working. And the activity, this is where I was going before. Uh, additional shelf, I could do. But I'm, I want to keep the money for, uh, for unlocking something meaningful, if that makes sense. Rather than more of the same. You know, I've, I've maxed out my product range. All this means I'm going to have to re-up my product range a little bit more often. Uh, but, uh, but you know, it's not like I'm keeping anything off the shelf. 350. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, spaghetti purchaser. Good lad. Uh, 17 quids. All right. See, she can afford the sugary shakes. But then again, by the looks of her, she's got the sugary shakes. Yeah. Um, good. Well, have we sold any olive oil yet? Don't know, but we might not have had any customers in for it yet. You're wrong about the cheese, bruv. Cheese is very reasonably priced. I sell quite a lot of it, as it happens. You want 25p. Uh, okay, you wanted some salt. Oh, go somewhere cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not selling you a flipping thing of salt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 Cool. Hello, sir and or madam. You want two flowers, two breads. Oh, is the bread not flowery enough for you? Well, I mean, that's fine. You want 77 quid. Money laundering. Cents and 50. Yep. Definitely rounding it to the nearest 50 cents is the way to go. <laughs> messing around with the uh, with the rest of it. Yeah. Who? Who's next, please? Oh, that was, that was the last of the cheap flour. Right, okay. Hang on. Cheap flour, cheap flour. That looks like cheap flour. Yeah, there you go. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. Uh, 80, 25. 50, 80, 25. All right, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Lots of peanut butter for you. In fact, I'm I'm also starting to get over scrutinizing what you're purchasing. Like you would in the normal supermarket. You're just buying stuff. I don't care. Uh, this is going well. What have you sold out of there? Oh, no, it's what's missing from this picture. That was... It's not basmati. No one could afford it. Yeah. Oil's going well. You're out of uh, cheapy flour. Put it back on the shelf. All right. I think that might be too cheap. Well, don't care. It's not important right now. All right. You just want a jar of peanut butter. I don't want to know what you're doing with it. Thank you. Look at the shame. She's so ashamed. I said I would never eat... And the tea's still going, even though I bumped the price. Okay, that makes me happier. Uh, 1850. And that. Okay, yep. And that is 8350. Alright, there you go. Good. Yeah, and that is credit card. Okay, fine, 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 fine. One, two, go. No, no. Yes. 
Pasta. Pasta. Thank you, team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have I got a box of it? I think I've got a box of it somewhere. Uh, 29.5. Okay, what time is it? R5. All right. What's that? That's flour. All right, that's red top, you see. Uh, what are you? No, bread. Well, we probably need some. Not now. I'm trying to restock pasta. I don't know if I've got any left anyway. Uh... Oh, there goes the olive oil. Excellent. 24.5. Go. Yeah, you need people to, to really want the basmati rice. Yeah, eggs. You've got, but, you know. Yeah, all right. What are you? Olive oil. Uh, don't bother stocking up stuff where you got loads. I'm pretty sure I haven't got pasta. All right. Thank you. Uh, six quid. Deal done. All right. Thank you. Uh, seven. Put 50. Good. Oh, we've got a late horde coming in. All right. You know what? I'm not bothering restocking. They'll buy what they buy. All right. And maybe they'll look for an alternate product when they can't find the thing that their heart truly desired. Maybe. You never know. Still, look at this. Healthy, cute. Ah, two tins of tea. Good work, my man. Uh, uh, 50, 65, 70, eight. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. 17. Uh, yeah. Thank you. 50p. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What's that? That was a 54 quid order. Excellent. Yeah, we've got 1,400 quid in the bank. This is coming along. All right, yeah. I think we will go another shelf tomorrow. 21 quid. No, I think we'll get ourselves a, uh, a subservient individual. You've got to get up to a... Th you've got to get up to level 10 before you can have a servant. Uh, yeah, what have we got left here? That's cheese. That's only cheese in a bit. Yeah. Someone will want it. Yeah, what's this? Tea? Yeah. Tea continues to sell brilliantly. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I should probably put the price of tea up a little then. 85. All right. 85. 25. Couldn't find any water. Well, I'm not selling it anymore. It was a novelty item when I did sell it. And now... Yeah, flipping. Look at all these sugar snacks. Yeah. Only one bottle of oil left, though. That's good. Right, we are at nine o'clock. Excellent. There's spaghetti. Get it in there. Uh, yep. Yep. And cheese. Flipping cheese. That cheese purchase, well, I mean, it served good narrative purpose at the time. Me not spotting that it required a fridge. But hey ho. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, your peanut butter. Oh, we ran out of that as well. Excellent. Nice. All right. Okay. And then that's rice. Did sell some. All right. That's flour. Yeah. Have we got less flour in that one? Yes, you do. Okay. We'll use that one. There's bound to be at least one box in the street that's got like a couple of something in it that I've just lobbed without properly counting. But hey-ho. Uh, the walls and floors look so ugly. Apparently customization is coming soon. And you're going to go, well, I won't be back for it. So I hope it's really lovely when it turns up. Because what you need in the... Uh, you know what's coming soon? What? The rest of the game. Because what's absent at the moment is any reason to play this beyond a couple of hours because there isn't enough to do there's just not enough there's not enough variety at all yeah sugar snacks and more rice okay yeah well we can really expand the range tomorrow yes we can and we should do that are you coming in or not didn't think so all right how do we do? That was a good day. 373. Yeah, yeah, okay. It wasn't that good. Okay. Now then. How's the fridge? Get a thing of milk. 
Okay. Uh, well, you already know what you need. Well, I know some of what I need. To the market. Start at the top. Do we need bread? Yes, one. Okay. Do we need cereal? Yes, one. Do we need flour? Yes, one. Okay. Do we need oil? Yes. <laughs> okay. Pasta, two. We get through pasta quite a bit. Sugar, no. Bottle water, no. Cheese, no. Coffee, hell no. Eggs, no, we're good for eggs. Milk, one, please. Okay, tea. It goes fast, so yeah, give me another one of those. Peanut butter, we've got spare. Flour, we've got spare. Olive oil, we've got some. Pasta, we've got. Rice, we've got. That's everything. 163 quid. Yep. Okay. Cool. You could you could grab the next license. That would be more stuff. All right, let's have a look. Well, let, I mean, let's get those right. Uh, management. Uh, no, yeah, management product license. This gets me orange juice, soda, soda, apple juice, milk six pack, and soda. That's a fridge filler. This cake, cake, candy, cereal, chocolate bar, health food. Right. We are going to want another shelf, I think. How much have I got? 700 quid. Go down the bottom. See what it needs. Uh, shelves. Okay. Yogurt goes in the fridge. Yogurt goes in the fridge. Buy one. Okay. Chocolate bar. Shelves. Yeah. Two, please. Okay. Cereal. Crispy Chibi. Oh, delightful. Uh, yeah, get me one of them. Uh, candy. It's cheap. Yeah get one anyway i think that's going to be a compulsive order uh cake's fairly cheap as well and there's cake mix which is too cheap right don't bother with that then right purchase and then let's see where we can where we can shove things uh, a small compensation for personal suffering so chateau thank you uh but i have to disagree watching you i really can't find a reason for play this for even a few seconds there's a reason why companies pay people into doing th what I do. No, no, nobody pay. Well, rarely. I let you know when they have paid me to do it. Um, in this case, I would do it simply because it would lend itself to the kind of sarcastic commentary that I really enjoy. Uh, where I'm just mean to in-game customers. Yeah. What are you sticking out there? Cake, mate. Cake. Look at that. You get loads in a slot as well. That's the other thing that you'd want to do. You want to do a time motion study for how much you get in one slot. Anyway, price it. Current market is 420. We're going to go 650. Okay. What are you? I don't know. Chocolate? Question mark? Yeah, all right. Stick it in there. Woo! Look at the display. Oh, that's lovely. All right. Stick that out in the street. Right, what do you go for? Three ninety-two. You're going for six fifty. Okay. What's this? Uh, flat. Right. We're out of it. Well, just well, I bought something. Yeah, I know it's, it's very boring flat, but we sell it like there's no tomorrow. Bonbons. Ah, you know what you need? I need a temptation end cap here. You're not having one. Well, hold on. Put that, put that there. Put it. Put it. Put it there. I'll think about it in a minute. Chalky picks. Ah, welcome back, old friend. Reupt. Uh, next, you are bread. Right. Cool. Pretty sure that's mostly full at the moment, but it is a staple, and therefore people like it. Uh, yep. And crispy cheba. Oh, didn't she? Yes, yeah, she did. Oh. All right, stick the crispy chiba on the on the shelf. Whoops! Ah, yes. And then you are got a market rate of oh five sixty two. Let's try you at seven and a half quid. That's a cool fiver profit a bucket, which is nice. A bucket, yeah, that's how it should come. Can you get any more on there? No. Right. You've got one shelf spare for a fresh range. And it's not going to be yogurts because they have to go in the fridge. 
or on the floor uh, is pasta. Oops. You filled your pasta shelf with something else. Ah, it's fine. I'll put it up here. Okay. Yeah. What are you? More pasta. Great. And you? More milk. Ah, okay. Right. Fine. We were starting to shift milk, which is not bad. Well, we were starting to shift milk. It probably was bad, actually, given how long it had been sitting around. Flour sells like hotcakes. It sells in order to make hotcakes, one would imagine. Right. You're not going to get the chance to re-up today, except out of the stock you've got here. Is there anything you didn't buy any more of? No, you're good. This is going to be a big day. Big day coming up. Maximum available. No, no, we're short by two. Three. We could have three more distinct product ranges on sale uh, if I weren't doubling up on shelves. So there we are. Uh, yeah. Here we go. First man across the threshold. He doesn't want the basmati rice. He's gone for the flour and some cereal. He's gone for the chibi. He's gone for the chibi. He's gone for the new stuff. Doesn't want a chocolate bar, so he's going to have two pints of milk. All right. Lovely job. Thank you very much, sir. Good. And even that's coming at a 20 quid. That's not bad. Here you go. See you later. Right. What will our next player go for? That was quite exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Here we go. Oh, ooh, ooh, bit of cereal. She's run out. She's still furious at everything. Still, that's because I'm charging her eight quid for a cereal that our kids can't get enough of. You go, oh, yeah, that's the reason what two tins of tea. Go on, get some more. You're minted, clearly, if you've gone for two tins of tea. Oh, well, never mind. 33.50 change. There you go. Bye bye. Chocolate pick cereal is too expensive. It's not, though. No. It's a total. Ah, oh, chocolate bar's expensive. Yeah. Olive oil's expensive. Yeah. Okay. What are you? The expense police. He's gone for two boxes of cereal, though. That is expensive. I am actually hammering you on the price of cereal, but hey ho. There's... And there's nothing nutritious in that, or even flavoursome, particularly. Hello, big lad. Big lad never disappoints. 26.5. Go on, son. There you go. Two tea. I want, I want two peanut butters. I'm sure you do, sir. Have fun with those. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Will you give Works and Resources Soviet Republic another go? Uh, or was that a tried it never again? I've done a hundred or so videos on the topic, and I stopped playing it because of the backseat drivers. I am never going back. Uh, it's a fantastic game, uh, but I have no need to play any more of it. What are you doing? I'm trying to give her all the money back. Well, stop trying to give her all the money back and just give her what she needs, which is six twenty-five. Hey, uh, right, good. Yeah, okay. All right, keep your eye open for reloads. I can't. There's only there's one area I can't quite see. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. I'm pretty sure that's that's only a relatively obscure area of the display anyway. Yeah, and what's in there? That's the pricey flower. So if you go first cake, woohoo! Okay, twenty two point five. Go go. Oh, you bought two boxes of no oh the kids have decided they want some more sugar. I feel sorry for this lady. She's doing flipping hard work there. He's gone two bags of pasta and he's gone two bottles of olive oil. You're using too much olive oil there, bruv. You're not supposed to boil it in, in olive oil. But, you, I mean, you can. But I worry for your kitchen. How many devs do I get in my inbox on a daily basis? On average? Devs? Not very many. Um, probably five devs every seven days. Uh, and then probably 20 to 25 uh, PR agencies. I'm not exaggerating either. Uh, weekly. Weekly. Yeah, 95 cents. Who's, uh, what have I, pro he bought cheese. Ah, yeah. Okay, 70, 80, 90. Sugar. Yes, sir. What sir wishes, sir will have. 
Yeah. It's always better when it's the devs uh, sliding in. Because uh, PR agencies, only some of them actually do their homework and go, is this actually something that works on that channel? You would be amazed. The number of... Coming soon on the Nintendo Switch. Get your exclusive review code now. I don't have a Nintendo Switch. I don't cover stuff for the Nintendo Switch. I find the games that are on the Nintendo Switch to be puerile. The latest 2D platform puzzler. Shut up and get out of my inbox. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting times. Our new demo. You can play it exclusively today. What, the same time as everybody else? Also, I don't play demos, and I've told you that. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Fifty. Hey ho, yeah, and it you, it might sound like oh first of all I wish people were sending me free games all over the place and I gotta go no yeah well I mean there is that uh, oh I can buy a cashier anytime I like what time is it six p.m. all right I'm gonna run it I'm gonna keep playing for just long enough to see the cashier in action to see if it takes the gameplay to a whole new level of delight place your bets now yes I'm not complaining about receiving that many keys what i'm complaining about is i'm complaining about people who don't do their homework because it means they're bad at their job you should only be sending stuff to me if a there is a fighting chance i'll actually cover it uh because it fits in with what i do uh but you get yourself sat on a uh, on a list or two and uh, the only thing they do is they just spam the entire list. And you just kind of go, you're so bad at your job. Personal, personal approaches work so much better. Yeah. Hey-ho. Uh, and it's, it's not that that they're bad at their job that irks me. What irks me is that indie devs are paying them to do this for them. And they'll have gone, we sent it to... Uh, to channels with a collective viewership of whatever, right? And, I go, and the devs will go, oh, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. They kind of go, yeah, but you sent your 2D indie puzzle platformer to me. And there was a 0.0% .0 chance I covered it. And they kind of go, oh, we've, we've not had much take up on cover. Have you thought about maybe making your game better? And the game's probably fine if you were to just give it to people that actually like that kind of game. Or, you know, not me. Because I don't. Yeah. Uh, what do you want? He doesn't want anything. Oh, okay. Uh, we're at 9 o'clock, but there's one customer in. How do we do on the shelves? Looks like one stock ran out. Well, that worked well then. Yep. Yep. Okay. And actually, she might have just cleaned us out on that. So uh, it might have literally just happened that we ran out of stock. Uh, what do you want from me? You, sh you want 70 quid? Okay. Toot toot. And 75. Right. Good. Thank you. What was that order size? 41 quid. We're not going to push 100. No. <coughs> yeah. Something similar to the um, the, the Dovetail Ambassador program will be beneficial everywhere. I'm not going to badmouth the Dovetail Ambassador program. But just to let you know, it's not something I would have instituted. Because uh, I don't believe in that approach. Uh, that's not to say that approach is wrong. It's rule eight. It is rule eight. You're not wrong. It is rule eight. Yeah. And in the uh, in the seventeen rules of how to manage a community. Um, yeah, it is covered by rule eight. Yeah. And there is there there has been some validation to that as well, which is quite nice. No, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Um, it's it's a perfectly reasonable thing to do, but uh, personally, I don't advocate going that going that route. Although, saying that, I take it back a little bit. They are doing that route. They are violating Rule 8 the right way. There. 
You didn't put your sweeties out. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, it's flour. Do you really need to be doing this? Aren't we just going to hire a worker and then declare ourselves complete for the day? Possibly. Yeah, okay. Just, but, I mean, look, if I restock now, I haven't got to restock in the morning. Leave it. Okay. What's this? Olive oil. One. We saw one olive oil today. Oh, what a waste of my shelves. Flour? Oh, you're done, flour. You've, you're out of pasta. No, I'm not. You're not charging enough for pasta. It doesn't matter. It can be, it can be a low-margin leader. Okay. There you go. Right, okay. Would you consider... What would I consider to be my bread and butter game? The most enjoyable for me to play? Uh, no. The most... Uh, the, the bread and butter game is a really tricky one. In fact, it's incredibly tricky. It's a very... It, you've asked a difficult question to answer. Because there isn't an answer that is that makes any sense. It's the kind of thing that I'm going to be talking about in this month's Reduced. Which, if you're not in Fail Brigade, you won't see. Uh, which is why being in Fail Brigade is a really good thing. Um, yeah. Talking talking about membership. I'm, I'm following on from last month's uh, really big kind of thought piece in this month's Reduced. So it's going to be a good It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a, it's going to be a good one. Uh, finish today. Finish today. Right. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So I don't, I can't give you an answer. Can't, can't give you an answer on that. Um, because it's not, it's not, not because there isn't an answer. It's more that there isn't a simple answer. Uh, right. Okay. Go and go and hire a chimp to come and work here. Right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiring. Hello. Cashier number one, please. Hired. Okay. Turn around. Are they there? Yes. What's your name? You better at least have a name. Oh, there really is no soul in this game at all. And also, you want to get your posture dealt with, son. But, I mean, you're going to be doing good work there. Uh, give me another shelf. Why? Just open the, sh open the shop and let him get to work. You can now do whatever you like for the whole day. Woohoo! Yeah. What, am I, what should I do with my bonbons? You can put your bonbons wherever you like, Pickle. Uh, furnitures. Have you got an end cap? I want an end cap. No. But I need one. Okay, let's buy a cheap shelf. There we go. Yeah, come on. Give me another shelf. I'll slap everything out. It'll be great. Okay. But did you actually order it? I'm pretty sure I did. Looking at your bank balance, I'm pretty sure you didn't. Okay, market, yeah. Shopping cart, yeah. Purchase, right. Yeah, um, yeah. you probably omitted the purchase aspect of that last one. All right. Okay, don't muck up the cash registration, you swine. All right, stick it over here. They'll come and visit it if they feel like it. All right, there you go. All right, where's my box of bonbons? Oh, they're here. All right, okay. Bonbon Frenzy. All right, price it. Yep. Okay. Current market price is four eighteen seven quid. Okay. All right. Yeah. Right. Now, light them up. I want no boxes in the shelf. What about the yogurts? Well, we'll have to clear a shelf in the fridge for that to happen. You know, you haven't got enough. Uh, enough shelf space for absolutely everything here. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's that? Pasta. I haven't sold it yet, but we will. Okay. Uh, and this bread. One. Okay. And this. One thing of oil. Perfect. One box gone. Woohoo! Right. What's in that one? I think that's pasta. It is. Another box gone. Yeah. And this. Eggs. Oh, you're not going to. Many machines on eggs. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, uh, I am the quiz at Sadarak. How can this be? They never said that in the new film either. No, no Alicia Witt. But how can this be? Maybe they'll do it in the next one, given that she hasn't been born yet. That's true. Yeah. 
You're sad about Transport Fever 2? No, TFP. I don't know what that is. TFP. Tran... The Fallen People 2. Uh, yeah, I, I, the Fallen People sadden me also. I think. Uh, I've got nothing more I can do in Transport Fever 2. I've done it all. I've done it twice. Uh, B-Ball Joe's still covering it. Um, and he's doing a perfectly good job. In fact, he just finished his EPEC challenge. I've never gone for an EPEC challenge because I found it to be not a challenge. By the time you're making a profit, nothing in that game is making a challenge. Uh, not to say that there's anything wrong with it. It's more a case of you have to find the fun for yourself. You have to find the interesting. You have to find the where's the, the story and the entertainment going to come from. Because it's never been strong. None of, none of the fevers have been strong on the economic side of things. I would say Transport Fever 1 was probably the best so far. Yeah. Have we sold any bonbons? No. But people are only, only just now coming to the awareness that there are bonbons. Ah, okay. Yeah. I can get yogurts in. Yogurts. Where's my yogurts? Hang on. No, that, that you're not yogurts, you're basmati rice. You're not even similar. Yeah, where did I put them? I don't know, they're in the heap somewhere. They're here. Right. Get them on sale. I am doing. No one's allowed to buy them until I priced them up. Right. Okay, go. Price them. Current market price, two quid. Our price, four quid. All right, there you go. Okay. That's it. There we are. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. The bank balance looks good. True. You've got some shelf space there. What was there? Don't know. Don't care. And in here? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Right. Do you want to put something in there? Yeah, more chocolate. Okay. Right. Good. Yeah. What's this? A box of eggs. Can't shift. Hold on. You've got another shelf available for eggs. Sweet. That's a bread. Yeah. Uh, you've got another spare shelf. Yeah, save it for a high-value product. Or save it for a product. Eggs. Many machines on eggs. You did that already. I know, but it was good. Uh, right, what's this? Bread. Really, have I got that much bread left? Apparently. Okay. Whoop! Yeeting boxes into the road. There you go, there's another one. whoop -a! Uh, right, cheese, yeah, yogurts, cheese, tea, tea, one space for tea, uh, basmati, uh, there we go, there you go, right, good, that's another one, turn the lights on, it makes the customers chipper, all right, feed the customers into the chipper, no, all right, spaghetti box is done, whack, uh, you, tea, one, and one, Whoopa. Right, and then you, eggs. Don't do it again. Many machines on eggs. Oh, goodness me. You can't help yourself. It's great. Uh, yogurts. Has anyone bought a yogurt? They are, uh, they're only just coming to awareness that yogurt could be in their future. Okay. We've almost shifted all the cheese. You've only got two boxes left of it. It's going to be well mature by the time, any time someone buys it. Yeah. By the time, any time, any time, so someone times it. Yeah, that too. All right. So it should just be fridge raiders that we've got left now. Uh, cheese and yogurts. And the eggs. Okay, cheese, yogurt and eggs. That's all we've got left. There you go, that's it. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Uh, right, what's coming up? Tomorrow, you are getting... What are you getting tomorrow? You're going to get the baseball tomorrow evening. End of the season special. Off-season special in the baseball tomorrow. I don't know what will happen. I don't know if I'll carry on playing it. Um, so that's, that's tomorrow. You're also getting a video tomorrow as well. You are going to get the follow-up to Cutesy Pooh Survival Game, uh, which I have now. I've finished it. Um... And I recorded it. I've just got to, I've got to chop it down and put it out. But it's only going to be about half an hour. 
Um, it wasn't that there was only half an hour left. There was a lot of grinding left. Uh, yeah. The, the cashier did help. The, the cashier's expensive, but yeah, definitely useful. Cashier's 80 quid a day, you see. Um, until you pass the the one grand mark, until you start getting volume. Uh, yeah, you know. So there's that. Uh, is it a game? Not at the moment, no. Oh, why did I get minus one service point there? Don't know. Don't care. Uh, right, Monday. Monday, 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 Monday. Let's school is back on Monday. Tuesday, you're going to score the final Mad Games Tycoon 2 video, which is not part of the Boo Boo Boys series, but we'll use the save game to illustrate points. Um, uh, Wednesday, let's school. Thursday, satisfactory monthly. Friday, let's school. What's next Saturday stream? I don't know. We're waiting for Manor Lords. I've got loads of stuff wishlisted. This is an Allen key. I've got loads of stuff wishlisted. And it's all releasing soonish. So. I don't know. I don't know what it will be. Hopefully, something suitably diverting. It won't be another survival game. It won't be another simulator. Oh, gracious. Yeah. Crikey, what's it going to be? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, you'll find out. I, I only decided to get today's game this morning. Uh, there were three in line. One of which I go, I don't like the look of it. One of which I go, I want to do this as a backer exclusive. And then this. So this is what you got. Cool. Which I wanted to do as a one and done, but ended up not doing it as a one and done. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you very soon. And, uh, and cheerio and have yourself a nice evening and cheerio. You can't finish on a word other than cheerio. I know, it's the rules. You've got, to, you've got to do these things by the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Uninstall!